are live. Uh, so, Culprit, you're going to have to add that for me. It won't let me pull it out. Just, it out? Okay. Nah, just, it's just regular. Well, it might be because the game is paused, too. They can't so. pull out? That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Low-hanging fruit, EB. Low-hanging know, fruit. It was there. I, I was going to say, at least, my, my pull-out game is strong. <laughs> wow. This is how we started it, today, folks. This is yeah. this is what <laughs> you signed up for, knowing us. I know, right? Yeah, that's why I have myself longer. I have myself on push to talk for this very reason. Because we're saying some stupid shit. Yeah, and I'll just I'll just tag along with it, and I'm like, no, I won't. Because <laughs> like I don't know, I, I, don't know how, I don't know how many times I've said something, and then the mic is not on. I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> We don't want it to ruin your reputation online. Yeah, you're you're the PG thirteen version of me. I don't know what I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I'm a very calm and and uh simple person. Yeah, that's nice. Lies, lies and slander. All right, so last, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, Molly, you're, uh, you there? You're muted right now, currently. Yeah, what's up? Okay, just want to make sure you're there. Uh, so last we, um, uh, left our heroes. They were, they made it up to the third floor, uh, fighting a specter, um, burning and destroying the hell out of a, a bundle that was pulled out of the crib <laughs> with nothing in it. And we've also found that there is some hidden stairs that lead upwards inside of the nurse's maid's uh nursemaid's room. And while fighting Inanimate objects such as brooms and armor, we find ourselves back to the balcony location. Finding our heroes' next steps to do. Okay, like to do. To be clear, we just finished a short rest, correct? Correct. Short rest don't do me much good right now. It's tough I, that I'm down and I need to do a long rest. I say so we uh, investigate. Over here. Yeah, let's clear. Let's clear everything out. Yeah, uh, I'd like to. Or pause. <laughs> okay. Not be paused now. No. Um... Give me one second. I can. We're going to go back up. Yeah, we were going to go up here. So, uh. Hey, out we go. So, uh. <laughs> what you find there, though? <laughs> so, what, uh. I don't, I, the game I don't is paused for me for some reason. <clears throat> yeah. If anybody wants to, uh, Welcome, go on in there. <laughs> but uh this is I'm weird. just gonna stand right here for a second and uh catch my breath. What is it you see, Doe? Oh, I'm gonna refresh. For some reason I couldn't move my guy. <laughs> yeah, I, th th there's something uh just moving around in there. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, as you as you step in there, you actually see somebody <laughs> Strung. The door opened up. It was, it was the bard. <laughs> it's somebody strung from a noose, hit, hung uh, to the ceiling. First question Is it moving? It is not moving. That's the icon we see there? Yes. Okay. 
bro. If it Wait, with like the that... tongue and everything? That's not human. <laughs> it's it's bro. a. You'll you'll notice it's not moving, but it is it is something of. Uh, uh like a rotted type corpse. All right, can I'm I'm just gonna walk up to it and put my knife in its throat just to be cl safe. I I rolled so I rolled a really crappy insight, so. Um, I do an investigation check to like see if it's human and like what 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 happened to it and shit. Or. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, you can do an investigation. I dare someone to put its your finger in its mouth. Nope. <laughs> I... <laughs> the worst part is that I. Oh, God damn it. Nah. Wait there in one second. Can I just like stick my knife in its throat? There I'm, gonna, go. I'm gonna take a look at this. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. You can stick your knife in its throat unless it's. Well, actually, no, yeah. for, first, uh, it's so dead. What, what did you. What did you. You know, you don't know that. Look. I. Oh, for investigate, I use an insight check. I wanted well, to see. No, 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 no. Uh, we we can't all weapon. just. Yeah, we we all can't just yeah. roll at the same time and stuff. Okay. Uh, so Molly asked to to roll. So, uh, it it doesn't take much to see that uh, inside of his hand is clasp a a crumpled up piece of paper. And looking at him, it, it is human. Okay. I'll, I'll grab the paper. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll just hand it to. I'll hand it to Zorin to send it to him. I can't read that because. <laughs> the, the, the I can't read. Here, what's it say? <laughs> All right. So let's. Okay. It looks like this it's fixed. is. Okay. I can finally move. Never mind, I can't move. I still can't move. I made it I made it a little bit easier for, for everyone, Molly. So I'll, I'll read uh, it. Is it on the stream or do you want me to read it out loud? Uh it's on the stream or you guys can all see it. Um if you want to read it out loud, that'd be perfect. My beloved children, I wish I could do what all fathers do and tell you that monsters aren't real, but it wouldn't be true. Life can create things of exquisite beauty. We can also twist them into hideous beings. Selfish, violent, grotesque monstrous it hurts me to say that your mother has turned into one such monster inside and out and i'm afraid the disease that afflicted her mind has taken hold of me as well it sickens me to think that we what we put you through there is no excuse i only ask you though i know i have not the right to do so to try and forgive us i despise what your mother has become but i love and pity her all the same rose i wish i could see you blossom to a strong beautiful woman thorn and walter i wish i could be there for you but i can't this is the only way. Goodbye. That's a sad, sad letter. Can someone please get him down? I got it. Rip him off. Rip the rope. I would have rather destroyed his head first, but okay. Oh, we can still do that if he has turned. Let's. I'm not a fan of this just like, you know, bringing it. Let's just put something... It's, you know, in the in the nervous system somewhere, so it can't do its thing. It does. I'll do a strength check to chop his head off. <laughs> You're gonna chop his head off with the maul? This no, is gonna I be have... disgusting. Oh, okay. I have I have hand axes too. What's going on here? I have hand axes. One second. I, I this I, this per this person seems back. troubled. <laughs> I say a quick prayer and I take a step back. <laughs> I would say I gotta, that I gotta use the uh, the weapon, don't I, or not? Well, you do the check to see if whether or not you could do it, and now you can. Well, you can you can hit it with the damage of the weapon, yeah. All right. You said damage with the handaxe? Yeah, just go ahead and do the damage because you already did the strength check. Right. We're just chopping the head off anyway. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you were you were easily able to manage to sever the head of this corpse. I'm just blood splatters everywhere. I'm like, Overdale. that's disgusting. But quick, I want to I want to take a look and I want to see how long 
this body has been hanging up there. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and do a medicine check. Based on how hard it was to pry the uh, the the letter from his hands and the stiffness of the body that came down, you can see that he hadn't been dead for maybe a week or two. It would seem so. Okay, got it. Probably didn't need to chop his head off. Well, uh, it's better to be safe than sorry in these strange, this strange area. I have nothing wrong with you doing that. Okay, see, there goes all my lag. I finally can move around and see things. Do we want to search these dressers over here? Or the desk? There's like a desk right there next to Monk. So let me go yeah, ahead and I'm give you a let me the, let me give you the setting. I, I I love that the pictures show a bunch of the stuff in there, but let me actually give you the the setting information. Um, inside here you see it's a dusty cobweb filled master bedroom, has burgundy drapes covering the windows. Furnishings include four poster or a uh, four poster bed, uh, with embroidered curtains and tattered gossamer veils. A matching pair of empty wardrobes, a vanity with a wood-framed mirror and jewelry box, and a padded chair. Uh, you see a rotting tiger skin rug that lies on the floor in front of the fireplace, which has a dust-covered portrait of Gustav and Elizabeth Durst hanging above it. A web-filled parlor in the southwest corner contains a table and two chairs. Resting on the dusty tablecloth is an empty porcelain bowl and a matching jug. Uh, the door facing uh, the foot of the bed has a full-length mirror mounted on it. The door opens. Um, you can see that it has the, the capability of open. There's nothing, you know, keeping it closed. And yes. over in the corner, you also see from where you're standing, Molly, you can see that there's a a, a hole in the wall that. Yeah. That what club? Uh, there's a there's like a not a hole but like a, a door in the wall. That would be around over here. Yeah, that's good. I will check this desk while we're while we're check here. Check the jewelry box. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna check the jewelry box for sure. I'm gonna wait to go into any of these rooms and let their that stuff search. Yeah. I, so, what do I find in the desk? And is the jewelry box on the desk? Yep. Yes, there is. So, I'm gonna go ahead and search the desk. All right. Uh, inside there, uh, you find silver uh, with gold filigree worth about 75 gold pieces. It contains three gold rings for 25 gold pieces each and a thin platinum necklace with a topaz pendant worth 750 gold pieces. Yeah. I'm going to... Uh... Uh, underneath that, you also see another wrinkled piece of paper that looks like it was you know, supposed to be mailed or delivered. I I pull that out and begin to read. Go ahead and play that. Okay. 
Would you like me to read that? Yeah, go ahead and read what you what you see to the others. My dear Miss Petrovia, your advice on dealing with the unwanted friend in my home is quite good advice indeed. Tonight's ceremony will proceed as planned when the moon is at its highest peak. Without, of course, the attendance of Mr. Durst, I must agree with you that with the assistance of such remarkably innocent subject, the results of our proceedings may be far improved. Innocent, of course, is not quite the term I would use. If nothing, I am relieved that I shall soon no longer have to suffer the harlot, the harlot's insufferable presence each time we must pass through her quarters to our meeting space. We shall be rid of her indeed. My thanks, Miss Elizabeth Durst. God, that's juicy. I <laughs> I relay that I relay that to the I I relay that to the um to the team and I show my I show the spoils to the team in in an effort to divvy it up equally. It's a shame that they didn't seek out Lathander's church. They offer marriage counseling. It could have gone a long way to make their lives a lot happier. So in, in sharing that equally um what would the, what would that be divided by the number of people we have i don't know exactly remember how many people we have well keep in mind you get three spoil three shares of it with your different personalities so I was about to say that oh one. god so well but we're, or, talking about, we're talking about monk because monk no, is, monk's the one who found it so he only has one share everyone else says <laughs> <laughs> monk's hey. monk is, oh, monk is out, of, the out of gm character though Monks have no need for worldly possessions. Exactly. <laughs> but, Just but like the cleric is probably going to donate most of what we give him. The but, most but, fair but, way right. is to give one person, hold it. As soon as we find a shop, sell it, and then split that money in coins between each other. I'm, I'm okay with this. Just as long as there's uh, a note. I will, sh I, 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 will hand it to the, I will hand it to the paladin because he is the most trustworthy. Trustworthy. Damn it! That means I have to do note keeping. All right. Yes, you do. <sighs> okay, one second. Let me open up a note. <laughs> You're crazy. Yeah, welcome Seven to my hell. When I was on. <laughs> Wait, Regal this is the rings, twenty-five gold each. <laughs> All right. So, uh, <laughs> sorry, the loot horn EBR memorized everything. <laughs> <laughs> so that's three golden rings. Twenty-five gold each. I'm. Platinum. Platinum, platinum necklace. necklace Seven hundred fifty gold. That's with a topaz pendant. With the yeah. yeah, with the topaz pendant. And a half plate. Wait, I'm out on the balcony, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're out on the balcony? Okay. Is this a, is this a, is this a balcony, Cray? That is that is definitely a balcony. Um and then the last piece was seventy five gold, but I forgot exactly what it was. I think okay. it was a necklace of a type though. What the hell? Alright, that looks like I don't think we're supposed to be saying this. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, you should, you might, everyone close that. <laughs> close that. <laughs> I, I closed it. Luckily, I have a goldfish memory. I have no idea what I just saw. I, I, I didn't even, I just saw that it says areas of the house, so I just, I closed it. I was going to ask, can I see anything from this balcony? Is uh, there any other can, structures? You can see that you're, you're definitely three stories high. Um, no structures. You you just see uh, trees, trees tightly, tightly uh, growing together. So this is just a house in a forest, straight out. Yeah, There's nothing around. I you just what about a road, dirt road? I imagine uh, that we came up on. But is there anything else going further away? You you actually can't see the dirt road that you came up on because that would be on the other side of the house. All right, all right. You you can see off to the right. Maybe you might be able to see the the storage area that looks dilapidated, like it's it's falling apart. It's been you know, it's been weathered really bad, and there's probably a hole in the top of it from where from where it rained and you know, yeah, yeah. all right, then it broke. Okay, so we have the two areas to check. We have the door right here underneath the stair. Looks like a this is probably the attic if it's a small door. And then we have that hidden door behind the portraits. So you do have a it's a it's a small door right there, but you um 
you may not be familiar with what it is being that you come from a tribe uh past so uh, there's uh, it looks like there's I, I would stairs. say well i would say that um jackson you would be more familiar with this this is a you would consider this this is just considered a a dumb way to uh, okay. Essentially, you see a button right next to the right of it on the wall, right next to it. Um, mm -hmm. And you've seen this kind of a door before, and you kind of know what it's used for. Yeah. It's perfect size for the halfling. This is what, in noble houses at least, uh, they could ferry food up and down from the kitchen to here. And I don't know what you're talking about, but this is clearly too small for something like me. <laughs> it's like a personal element. Don't worry, he'll fit. I'm not even gonna try. I'm sorry. Let's send you up to the top. <laughs> we'll meet you in the attic. No, you I take, you take the waiter. It's not happening. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's way too tight for me. I want to throw him in there. Oh I think, God! Like if yeah. someone else can probably fit up there, then I might try it. But I'm I'm not going up. Just, we just shove him in there. <laughs> we, we get like a locker. <laughs> it could be dangerous. We don't know what is up there. I wouldn't joke around with that. Well, I'm not worried. I can take on whatever's up there, but I'm still. I just probably can't fit in that. That's all I'm saying. Oh, I'm sure you could. I, that's not what I implied. I just, for the safety of the entire party, you can't take everybody on. Well, it's all right. We're, we're, we're we should try. We're at a bit of a disagreement here, but that's all right. Oh, also, I want to check under the bed. Was there anything under the bed or in the bedding? Uh, looking at it, you just see it's nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Just, you know, you see the sheets. Um, above that, you see the blanket. Above that, you see the pillows. Nothing in the uh, the pillowcases. I'm waiting at the door of the uh, other room that had the staircase, or well, the secret room. And, and I'll just wait in the hallway. Yeah, I'm with you guys. It keeps telling me to reload the application. Dude, I'm having some massive lag. <laughs> and I don't know why. It's a fully home-hosted server too, right? So yeah, it is. Yeah. It's fully home-hosted. Who I is don't... Observer? Observer is what allows everybody to see what you guys are doing. Uh, okay. Uh, by by the way, um, on on the stream, the the areas of the house are still uh, displayed. Yeah. A quick screenshot. Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> I didn't even realize I mean, that was up on it, there. It's not like it would be that hard to find a step by step guide for Strock. Right. We're being good and not. <laughs> That'd be so right, funny. guys. Y yes, we are. <laughs> I pop my head in and I want to see is that broom moving again or is it still done? Uh there's the, the broom head. the broom has been splintered okay. and is of no uh no usefulness at this point. Hmm. Unless you needed a toothpick. Otherwise, you just found yourself a box of toothpicks and you can put it in your inventory. Oh, okay. Cool. How much is a box of toothpicks worth in this in this world? Nobody <laughs> needs them. None. <laughs> Although, say, people more normally will just use their knife to go cut a sliver of wood if they really need a toothpick. Yeah. Right next mm. to where you were, Grawlrig, was that a door? Another door? 
Talking about right here? Yeah, like this little area right here. Yes, there's a door to it. Like a bath area would be my assumption. Check the medicine cabinet. See if there's any. See if there's anything. Uh, this is a dark room that contains a wooden tub with clawed feet, small iron stove with a kettle resting atop it, and a barrel under a spigot in the east wall. A cistern, or yeah, a cistern on the roof used to collect the rainwater, which was born deep uh, down a pipe uh, to the spigot. However, the plumbing no longer works. That'd be a fun thing to fix in a house like this. Dear God. Is this the source of, like, their drinking water and stuff? The cistern would be, yeah, like, their drinking water and whatnot. Right, the kettle would be to clean the water of any kind of bacterial uh, problems. Is the is the piping lead? Mm, it'd be... Probably copper. I mean, th there's several ways they could have done it. Because I'm wondering if they're actually just not hallucinating and, like, this place really isn't haunted. They're just insane. Are we going down here? Yeah, there was that staircase down, the hidden stairs down here. Hidden bedroom. Remember, there yeah. was like the, there was an entrance on both sides, but you said this side was like the happy. Yeah, the other side it was like horrible pictures of people dying or something like that. No, why don't you go into the other way? Nah, I don't think I'll pass <laughs> on that. It's right here, Colt. Uh. Oh, shit. So it should be like right here. Mm hmm. Yeah, you should be able to make it in there. So it should be wide open both yeah. sides of it. All right. Hold on. I'll go before the humans. Let's go. There you go. Who wants to let me in? All right. Going downstairs. Hold on, my thing's like lagging like crazy. Like yeah. I can't. I'm like can't launching move. around. Yeah. Is there a uh, an icon here? Cause I don't see it. Yeah, uh, there yeah, I don't see it. Uh, there's right there. Did any of you find it? I haven't I'm found not, it. I didn't see anything in there. You might have might have hidden it at some point. I don't know. It's it's not there. <laughs> How do I get around into this room here? I'll get you in there right now. Not allowed. Not allowed. All right. All right. So now let's this check time. this room before we start opening doors. Which room are you in front of right now? Uh, the one at the next level of the stairs. We we followed the stairs down. Okay. Uh, uh you you followed the stairs up. up. Okay. Up. Um. So you're in the the main room right now. Okay. So. Yes. move there yeah I need I need to get a guy with low light vision <laughs> a narrow I'll spiral can, staircase made of creaky wood is contained within a five foot shaft of mortar stone and start uh, that starts in the attic uh, wait hold on. this is not the right one my bad hold on we are in the Damn, I can't even log into the fucking game. Craig, kick your kids off Netflix. 
<laughs> uh, actually, we'll do. Give me one second. Sorry about this, folks. Give me a big issue trying to like, move my character. I'm trying to get in that room with you guys. Yeah, I can't even log into Foundry right now. <laughs> it kicked me from Foundry. Oof. Yeah, I, I, it's not even, you know, I'm walking up and down the hall and some of the fog of war is not even disappearing. I can't even see the people that are standing to the left, to the right of me. Well, you're have... human, and it's dark. But I should have... be able to at least see the person immediately to the left of me if they're like yeah. right there. Yeah, you you'll have to mess with your your sight if that's the case. Because that's I only see my token on on my screen right now. Uh, then let's go ahead and. Do some searching around. Um, I would say that anybody who has low light vision should be able to see that there are some some lights that are on the walls that you should be able to, you know, light up on or yeah, I'd light up. Oh, I have a candle. Like I can give him a candle. I'll just touch him and cast light again. That door's locked. All right, are you able to? Are you able to yeah, see I right can, now? Yeah, I, I, I can see everything now. Yes, thank you. Okay. All right, so this is a bear hall, uh, choked with dust and cobwebs. See in front of you that there is a locked door. It's not locked. And several other doors that are unlocked. <laughs> oh, this one's open. The middle one here seems to be locked. Yeah, I tried that one. All right, Grom, I'm going here. Okay. Um, so who's we have we have two entryways. Who's going in first? Based on time, I can read off what's going on into that room. I guess I'll go in first. It lets me. Uh, you find that it's a misplaced door. <laughs> that leads out to your death. Um, sorry about that. That actually, that wasn't a door. That was, uh, technically a window. I'll go ahead and lock that up. I didn't, I didn't even go in there, though, because the I... game's lagging. Is it still? No, it's because I closed the door, and you were trying to drag your guy through a. I'll go in this one up here at the top. Okay, the top left. All right. It's still a bit slow, Entering but it in... feels like it's catching up. Entering in there, you see that it's a, it's a spare bedroom filled with, uh, contains a a slender bed, a nightstand, rocking chair, empty wardrobe. And a small iron stove. Any de no, no desks, nothing, nothing to look through to see if it's a uh, see if there's anything. No, well, there's a, there's the there's the wardrobe, and the nightstand. I'll look through both. Okay, inside there you just see just just dust on the inside of it as well, as if uh, it, it had been left open just a little bit. You see the line over time where the the dust had collected. Okay. Uh, wardrobe had nothing in it other than you know some some tattered clothes down at the bottom that were neatly pressed at one point, but over time have kind of decayed. I'll I'll, I'll leave them be.
All right, Garaga, you uh, enter inside this room. Uh, this dusty chamber is packed with old furniture. Uh, all draped over with white sheets. Uh, near an iron stove. Uh, you see, uh, you see that there are, there is another, uh, another item that, that could be covered, uh, with, like, every, everything in here just has, like, white sheets over it. Someone ripped the sheets off. <laughs> I'll go burn in. them. I'll go in and start help taking sheets off. Let's see what's in here. Okay, you see that there's a there's a bunch of chairs, coat racks, standing mirrors, dress mannequins. Um, also near the stove. Uh, you see that there is, uh, underneath one of the sheets is a, is an unlocked wooden trunk. I'll look. Where's the stove? To the left. I think about my guy regular Zorn. Did you guys light any, uh... I need the lights in there, you know, the two that were... I, I don't really need to, so, I mean, I don't see the need. Alright, so... I don't see the lights on the walls, how you put there? Yeah, you don't, you don't see them, just, just... I would say just kind of ask if, whether or not you see lights on the walls. Can I just give All him right. a candle? You can. <laughs> I think, wouldn't that be better? Fucking Scrooge that shit. So, yeah, I'm gonna look, I'm by the stove, I'm gonna look at the box. That. Okay, inside the box you see the skeletal remains of what looks like a a nursemaid dressed skeletal uh, remain. I, I set it down, take take a step back and and start to meditate. I analyze the body. I'm trying to figure out the timeline here. How could there be someone that's weeks old and then there's a skeletal remains here? It's kind of odd. Uh, go ahead and do a, a wisdom check. Wisdom medicine check. Uh, with an 18, you, you definitely see that it, it's, uh, you, you see the blood that's been soaked into the, into the sheet as, as you were unbinding it and notice that this woman has been stabbed several times, in fact, and has multiple knife wounds. Um, some of the parts have actually rotted off from the bone and... You would think that this has been this this person has been dead for quite some time. I I look up after you know taking a look at this body. I'm like, hey guys, you find it kind of strange that this the guy that had offed himself in that other room was living inside this house with this dead person for at least a, I would say a few weeks, if not a few months. Many people tend to honor their dead differently. Yeah, and they also like to hide their dead bodies that they murdered differently. <laughs> that too. Probably the maid that was taking care of the baby that we fucking killed in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't get a she doesn't, a she doesn't get a break, does she? <laughs> she keeps getting stumped in the chest and fucking oh, killed uh, and poor woman. All right. Well, I, I I give some I, I give give her some last rites and 
put her back into the chest. <laughs> <laughs> Did she have any loot on her? Oh god. <laughs> You're looking no, for permanent just... haunting. <laughs> that that would be unwise. What about like a onyx necklace so you can give the dough to wear? <laughs> it's not possessed. Or, or, a, or a golden skull ring with glowing green eyes. You know, just, just the normal stuff. Yeah, just well, normal whispers. every day. It whispers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we put the body back in. Alright, alright. It's a series. The glowing rings or <laughs> you, you know that's that's some real shit right there. Feeling disturbed by that, I go gotta go back into the main in in the main the landing. Yeah. And we we've uh, completely investigated this room. Is that right, guys? Yeah, that, it. that room has been completely investigated. Sure, you didn't want to smash the furniture in case it would animate and attack you later. Uh, no. If I if I do that every time some random innocuous looking thing comes up, then uh, yeah, I'll I'll be here all day. Look, this house is a loss anyway. You might as well start smashing everything. We have a deed. We could start our own house flipping business. <laughs> <laughs> we, we give up Stream the home makeover. <laughs> Forget the quest. <laughs> Oh my god, that'd be such a fun turnaround for this. We turn this dingy haunted house into a home. Oh, spend, the months, spend the next few months. Spend the next few months with locked. starting a business. Just that'd be awesome. I'm totally We're already just taking the basement in case there's flooding. Your lizards. We have two like vampiric <laughs> property brothers show up and like help us out. <laughs> wow. We'll have to oh, advertise Lord. in local towns, you know? It'll be good. That's great. <laughs> I'll do all the demolition. Let's run through <laughs> We have everything, dude. You, well, you, you said, is there anybody good with locks? I would say, I, I would look at, I would look at our, uh, our barbarian and go, I believe he's good with locks. Hey, uh, Jackson's our funder. He's, he's the money man because his family's got money. <laughs> <laughs> On your startup. <laughs> we'll talk about this more when we're done this quest, but we should definitely, definitely consider starting our own household business. Oh my God. <laughs> we'll table this for now. We'll table this for now. So anyway, locks. Okay. Uh, or do we want to check well, the last door room? Door that. Yeah, let's bust the door down. There, there's. Mm, oh. Okay. Okay. There was a. Yeah. Okay. So you you turned away from the. Okay. You turned away from the door from. All right. Give me a second. What were you gonna say, girl? <laughs> <laughs> There's more than one way to get through a door. Okay, well, you, you can speak in riddles, or you can get... You I, can I said, is there anybody good with locks, and you decided to break down the door? I mean, that's it's one way slow. to get through the door. It's low said, if anyone's good with it, it'd be me. So I was like, all right, sure. Uh, Doe actually has the lockpicking skills. I do, I do. So is that... Uh... Over by Molly. Wait here. So, uh, all I know is who's going to be attempting to, who's going to be opening or uh, trying to unlock the door. Um, or is it going to be through brute strength or through finesse? That way I can give you guys a one of you guys a buff. I'm okay with whatever. I, I just whatever you guys think. I don't want the door to reanimate on you, Lord. Or... <laughs> God just <laughs> slams me over <laughs> and over again. Just comes to life, yeah. As I'm passing through it, it just starts beating the shit out of me. It's like, oh, come on. Um, I uh, cast Guidance, and uh, I put it on Doe. So you added a D4 to your skill check. All right, all right. Um, how do I do... I haven't done the lockpicking thing. What that do I... That open already. So, so you don't want to lockpick that one. Uh, you should be able to click on lockpick, um, and it should give you the capability of, like, rolling, I believe...
I forgot, which one was it? What skill was it? Slide of hand? No, it should be disabled device. Mm. It should be one specific to. There's a uh, thieves tools. You should be able to. Oh they yeah. Give you a, a roll. That's what it is. Well, they uh, give you bonus. I'm oh. totally blind where this is. So I'm. Oh, feeling... it's under inventory, and then go down to like the third or fourth. Uh, it looks like it's the fourth uh, uh, section down for tools. Uh, uh, but though something uh, something about two. this, you kind of you, kind of weirds you out is the fact that you you realize that this lock is actually locked from the outside. It's a padlock that's kind of holding something you would think in. In. Ooh. Well, uh. Does anyone have anything they want to do with perception or whatever before we uh, before we go on in? Or yeah, well, what we should do is just in case something that's violent in there is do something okay. similar like SWAT, which is stack up in the way we want to be approached in combat. Yeah, essentially you'd be getting into a uh, uh, formation. Like marching formation. So that would be like our frontline yes. fighters being here, 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 and Doe kind of has to be there. And then anybody ranged can be, you know, like back here or like here so that they have lines of sight into the room. Why don't, why doesn't someone is, knock on the is, door? Is EB even still here? No, so, I'm kicked out of the game. He, he tried to log back in. It looks like it disconnected him again. Yeah. We need you in the initiative order. I know, but I can't do shit if I can't log in. That's... I don't know what would stop that, dude. Like... No. I've kicked everybody off the internet here. <laughs> we, the we, how, how, how about we do this real quick? How about you just restart you log everything out and restart see if that see yeah. if that fixes the lag try try restarting the server uh Both there whole is family sitting there doing a puzzle because you can't <laughs> get in jokes That's what there, there is one more thing hold let me check <laughs> he's gonna kick it he's gonna kick it's uh... his porn server <laughs> yeah, i was gonna say something stupid that works <laughs> stupid enough Culprit's like, which one of you didn't turn your cell phone off? <laughs> <laughs> I know one of you still have your dad on. Yeah. <laughs> Just think, we can knock out the walls right here, open this up into one big open living area. I say so this, we can have do. a great, great, nice open floor plan here. We can make a ballroom here. It'd be like a whole... We so much more room for activities. No, the, no, this would be since this is at the top. This would be the ultimate master suite. Look, why don't we just if it's if it's like a place in between cities? Why don't we just make it a brothel? I think we would like profit a lot from that. I'm not hearing objections. The monk says, "It, it is interesting because uh, Lo would find that very." Very interesting. <laughs> In charge of the same room, right? Now we leave it as it is. We have a real raw stick and old school the, the uppies like that. Oh, thank God! I finally got in. <laughs> you got in? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, finally. <laughs> okay, that one thing that I could try, I guess it worked. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, reacting much nobody. better. Uh, oh yeah, we need to drag him up because he was downstairs. <laughs> oh, and remember we had that issue where you guys couldn't see. Yeah, we couldn't. Yeah, he's just standing in darkness by himself in the middle of the. No, nope, I can see everything. 
Get fucked. <laughs> I can no, see. No, except when you were actually in the game, your character was uh, just kind of hanging out by himself, not doing anything. Uh, wrecked. That's a weird sinking issue, I think, because I don't see him. What I see is, I see him on stream. All right, let's see if this, hopefully this doesn't mess you guys up. <laughs> Did that kick you guys at all or no? Uh, I still see myself. Yeah, I'm still, still in. in. Okay, so you guys are able to stand. All right. Teleport me. You have been ported, sir. Very well. The camera on the. Boost. Perfect. As I move, you get. Okay. Let's. Sorry, I closed all my stuff as well when I refreshed the page, so I gotta open back up. Death House. I don't hate Lord's idea of uh, knocking or calling out. I mean, they're gonna know we're coming in anyway. Yeah, I. Cause they're gonna hear us picking a lock or breaking the door down one oh, more. Picking a lock can be a lot quieter than busting down a door. Bro, but I mean, it's not that quiet. It's a lock and picking a lock. It's just going to bang onto the floor when we open it. You can't catch it. <laughs> so, this may sound, you know, a little bad, but typically what happens is the person that's picking the lock is someone who has tried to steal things without permission. So they're used to doing it very quietly as opposed to slamming the picks into a lock and making the box go. I just think that the chances of the thing, whatever the thing is, if there is even yeah, anything not. in there, just being asleep on a bed as we open the door is kind of at least it c would give us an idea if it does respond what kind of creature or entity it is i just knock on the door oh god uh like, nothing nothing responds back to you you just hear the echo in the in the area that you're in right now all right pick it, <laughs> yep, pick yeah, it. yeah fuck it i'm picking it what that am i doing up. Uh, it's, sorry, what was it? It was the inventory, and then... Uh, I re-equipped my mall, by the way. Okay, okay. I can't find it. What is it? I got... That's like the fourth the section tool. down? Yeah, Thieves' There we go. Okay. Use tool. Was that with the bonus from... Oh, no, it wasn't. Shit. Uh, oh, I gotta so read that. No, 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 you're fine. That's 19. Okay. Uh, you successfully uh, open the lock. Easy peasy, and I step back really quickly. Oh, and Culp. You're a frontliner. Culp, it's a D4 that he has to roll. He doesn't just get a flat four. Oh, yeah, D4? Oh. oh. Okay, yeah, well, he, there's... Okay, so he would have never been able to miss a 16 with that any which way. Yeah, there I, you just, go. I, I, just like, wanted, I just wanted yeah, to make was, sure you knew. Yeah, it, Oh, look how far we can see inside. You mean the skeletons on the floor? This, re this room contains a bricked up window flanked by two dusty wood frame beds. Uh, two beds that are sized for children. Closer to the door is a toy, ch toy chest with the windmills painted on the sides and a dollhouse that's a perfect replica of the dreary edifice in which you stand. These furnishings are draped in cobwebs. Laying in the middle of the floor 
are two small skeletons wearing tattered but familiar clothing. The smaller of the two cradles a stuffed doll that you also recognize. I thought we checked to see if they were ghosts and all that shit. We didn't check because by the time we, you thought to check, we were already locked in the house and they weren't here. Well, we went. To, that was to see if they were still with us, which it should have been because Lure asked that guy to stick with them. But no, I thought Lure did some type of checks on the children to see if they were lying and shit like that. And yeah. Like, well, I mean, they, they can be lying. dead and telling the truth. Yeah, exactly. Like, Is that all you asked was lie? Was lying? Well, I mean, so tell me. When you're looking at someone, how do you tell if they're a ghost or not? Usually they're wearing a white sheet over their head. Yeah. And with with just all, with just two holes cutting it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, that's all the way they did it in Beetlejuice. I believe it. Um, I'm going to check the bodies. I'm going to check for lights up the wall. Filling around uh, the, uh, the walls, do you see that there are, there are some lights by the entrance? And then uh, there, there are you would assume that there would be some lights that are closer to the beds uh, for kids to, to be able to read. You know, go ahead and turn those on as well. You said if it makes it easier, I can do this. <laughs> um, whenever it pops up. Oh, you're going to set light on him again? Yup. <laughs> All right. Might as well. Well, he didn't want to, he didn't want to ever take the candle from Doe. Doe was offering it the whole time. Yeah. If I take the candle, that means my hands are full. That's fair. Uh, that's if you're carrying two candles. I'll have one open. Doe will those candles. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Wouldn't give you uh that make him a light monk? <laughs> so stupid. Uh, can you see now? Yes, I can. Okay. I'd be monk light, actually. Yep. All, all, you know, all the taste of a regular monk with fifty percent of the calories. <laughs> Damn. 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 <laughs> I um go up to the, the skeleton of the, the the bodies of the children, and I put them each in their respective beds, and then cover them with the sheet. I'm gonna go back out in the the hallway because it's that it's just a little more than I can handle at this point. And I, I say under my breath, I will find a way to allow you to, to rest completely. Then I, then I edge walk out of the room. Uh, edge walk. <laughs> I'm joking. Anything in the toy chest? You guys checked up? Uh, we have not checked anything where the house or the toy chest yet um I don't know man take the dead kids toys no you didn't say take, take you didn't see yeah you didn't say take you want to check you know I'll go back in there with you in case something happens if you're gonna open it up I'm just thinking if we clean the place up and paint the walls it'll look excellent <laughs> be a nice office room 
dude, hell no. There's no way I would live here. Like, <laughs> not you. The people we trick into living here with the vampire realtors. Fifty percent less haunted than a normal residence is in Barovia. <laughs> hey, look. You just you don't mention the hauntings unless it's negative. <laughs> and look, if we go with the brothel idea, it could be like a you know like a thing that we advertise. Okay. Well, yeah, it's, it's, right? it's a theme, a theme brothel. Those that like to be uh, watched, you never know if the ghost is watching or not. Ghost brothels. <laughs> hey, that would be a great show. We, we, let's pitch that one to HB, HBO. Lord. <laughs> oh God, fucking. Bring back Patrick Swayze as a hologram to play the ghost. <gasps> no, just bring back actual Swayze as a ghost. It's a ghost brothel. Roadhouse. Search it, though. Oh, he left. Yeah, uh, no buying, touching it. That's what we got. <laughs> that's what we got contractors for. Oh, I can't move again. I can't move again. Yeah, I can't either. I just tried like four times. Oh, I just saw you move. If you if you keep I spamming guess. it. It, it it definitely will help because you know because packets being resent over and over again exactly always help. yeah always come on man no oh, finally That we're done up there? I would say so. Were you searching I, or looking for anything or I, no? I, I opened the I chest. I thought I searched the bodies, but I mean, it's just two children that most likely starved to death. I opened the chest. All right. Uh, opening the chest reveals two figures. <laughs> He found their G.I. Joes. And you should be able to see their name if you hover over them, right? Uh, do the right one first. I haven't done the left. No. Oh, I, yeah, but I'm, I'm blocking it. One sec. Thorn. And Thorn. Oh. Walter. It's Thorn and Walter from the note. Hmm. Oh. It's, it's updated now. You see that it's it's the two children, Rose and Thorn. So just to make sure I'm visualizing this, I opened the chest and then these two figures appeared behind me? Yes, you feel these these this entity behind you staring over your shoulder. Can I do an arcana check on this? Uh, what are you looking to find? Are, uh, to see if the, uh, the figures are t actually like tethered or they're tying the, 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 the spirits to the, to this world. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do an Arcana check. Routine. Uh, you see, you, you feel like something's holding them back into this world. I uh, look to them and I ask, what is keeping you here? Why can't you move forward? They look at you kind of with a, a strange tilt to their head. Kind of uh, confused. What is it that you want the most right now?
what I want someone to not leave us. As Doe as do disappears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> we just... We were just left in here. And have been all alone. You realize you don't have to suffer any longer. You can go yeah. to Lathander's Embrace. Where people will take care of you. There's always sunlight and warmth. And Lord Lathander himself will never forsake you or abandon you. Staying here in these cold halls brings you nothing but misery. You deserve more than this. Rose looks at you and says, I don't, I don't want to go anywhere. I just want somebody to be here. If it will help you let me know do you not have a maid that used to or a nurse that used to take care of you i don't think bringing up the nurse we just sent her to after life after life is gonna help out in this situation oh no ghost logic is kind of fucked up <laughs> <laughs> It's almost like broken programming. <laughs> oh. This. Oh, sorry. That wasn't. That's not supposed to be for Rose. I forgot she was selected. Wait, what did she roll? Oh. Do you... I just said. <laughs> these, these, these bitches have to get the holy water in a second. <laughs> <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. <laughs> I have that shit in my inventory. They want to. They want to throw down. You throw it down with the wrong class. <laughs> I just, I, I don't want to go anywhere, though. I just, please stay here with us. We're afraid. I, I, I bust, I bust through. <laughs> oh, yeah! God damn it. You should listen to my friend. He is understanding what he is he's talking about. It is time for you to move on. I shall say a prayer on your behalf. To help ease you on your way. No. Whoa. And I, and oh, I, okay. And I, 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 I turned, I turned to uh, Zoran and say, "Let us pray." And I, and I, and I, and I put my head. Please take these kids and see them on to the next realm. Protect their souls. And allow and allow them to move forward, and protect this wonderful group of people we have here. And I and I and I say, and I, I raise my head and I say, "You are free." I I look at I look at um, what's your character's name again, Ted? It's well, uh, the, it's the a... last you heard. He, the last you heard he was monk. Yeah, so I, I look at I look at you and like, monk. That was a very beautiful prayer. The Thank name you. is Orlando Lighthammer. Lighthammer. Ah, well, we're nevertheless very beautiful prayer. Thank you. Rose. 
Rose looks at looks at you, Thorn. And I, I I want you to roll a perception check. I want I want you to see if whether or not you believe that she's telling the truth or she's being manipulative or So with the 15, you can see that this is, this, this child seeks only to have somebody there for her and with her. You, you understand that you, it, it's, I would say it's, it's, it's as if a, ti a child's tiny hand desperately seeking the warm embrace of an another soul, like somebody to hold, somebody to be there and protect her. I have a question as far as the metaphysics of this whole situation are concerned. If you destroy a child's ghost, what happens to the child? Are they force sent to wherever they're supposed to go, or are they com are they effectively destroyed? I would, I would say that, that destroyed. it is dependent on how are you force. Like, uh, are we talking about like the the nature of how the nursemaid was taken care of, or are we talking yeah. about? Uh, well, I'm talking about like, even if you kill a ghost, does its soul persist after the ghost is dead, or does that forcefully move it on, or does it just disappear for a while and manifest again later? Because I need to know that because uh, I I I'm thinking if the best way to save these kids is to destroy them, destroy their, their ghosts, and they're going to be moved on to the next plane forcefully. And I would see that as being doing them a mercy than allowing them to stay here. So in, in any kind of lore, usually uh, when you lay the, I mean, you can go with even supernatural, the, the TV series lore. If you were to burn the bones, it can destroy, you know, them and send them to their final resting place they're no longer there um it could it, doing it any other way could send them to either purgatory or hell you know it, there's there's all sorts of different ways that can that can have a a different method of what ends up happening to them so i mean I so, even doctor uh, who has a thing where like if you're buried in in the ground then you're warm or you're you're cold but if you're bear, if you're cremated, you're on fire. You burn. You know. So like, there's there's different ways that you can you can look at this with so many different types of, uh, I guess worldly views. Well then, in that, I I, I I look I look to my to my fellow paladin and say, I think it is time we lay their lay their bodies to rest. And the the best way the the most expeditious way that we can would be uh, in the fireplace, as and we should and allow them to burn. I agree. I I I grab I grab one of one set of remains, and I uh, grab the other. Okay. <laughs> uh, with that, hold on for a second. We start getting our ass beat while holding their bodies. Like that'd be so weird. Yeah. <laughs> don't touch! Don't touch that. <laughs> yeah, their people go. <laughs> you guys, you guys left that. We and Dora like, still right ago. here. I have no idea where the other two went. <laughs> where did you and Doe go? No, me and Doe are right outside uh, the door. Yeah, yeah, I'm there. just keeping an eye on oh, things, right. you know. Oh, uh, I don't know where the fuck Molly and Malrig went. They just fucking... I don't see them on I'm, the map anyway. No, we're they're we're inside. inside the room. They're, yeah, they're inside. Okay. <laughs> Doe knows All right, exactly if you can... <laughs> if if uh, Orlando and Zorin can please take a look at uh, Discord. Yeah. As both of you start to reach down um, to, to grab the two bodies that are on the floor. The two the two ghosts lean over and touch your hands dissipating into a mist and gone. 
I'm in charge now. And nobody shall tell us what to do. Uh, yes. I, I follow you around. Uh, just keep them away from me, please. And I draw my sword. I uh, stand in the corner and I have my shield. You guys, so he just drew his sword on us because they're the kids now. Is that what you're, is that what's going on? I'm swinging. So, uh, <laughs> so here, here's the thing. Um, Can I roll like what kind of check do I want to make? Can I roll? Mm. Again, these these two ghostly folks or but like I, I, the ghostly. I, 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 Sorry, go ahead. I'm the ghostly ahead. people, uh, the the children, are are not violent in nature. Mm-hmm. Uh, you 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 just get a uh, a feeling that you know they're not violent. And what I want um, Laura to get from this is that they are they are. Just wanting somebody to be here with them, to, to help them, to, to talk with them. And when I am drawing my sword, I am definitely holding my sword as though I am completely untrained, and it is you know two hands on on a on, on a single handed sword, and I am trying to look intimidating but failing miserably. Can I make an insight check? D to me, I think like for what's happening with the with uh, Laura over there, who's just been switching on and off. I just think that maybe that's par for the course for him. It just something keeps switching the television fucking channels. That's a good point. But, <laughs> but Zorin is not acting the usual. Can I make an insight check to see if I can figure out what happened to Zorin? I'm being possessed, man. For the kids, <laughs> yeah. Evie might make that assumption, but I don't know if Jackson would. That's why I want to make an insight check to see yes or no. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Do there you can use it now. Uh, oh, I it. Snap, hold on. <laughs> Check this out, folks. No. We got our I first natural deep. 20. <laughs> No, I had the first natural 20 on the first day. <laughs> uh, we got the first natural 20 on here that I actually have a overlay for now. So oh, people can see oh it. you got your... There it is. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Cray, I need to enter the door. I'll... One sec. That's not okay. fair. I didn't get an overlay. <laughs> That's true. And it you helps. actually got the first natural 20 of the campaign and of rolling. Like, the first roll even. <laughs> First roll was a nat twenty, and <laughs> it's been downhill since then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that the excitement's calmed down, and I'm here 100 percent again, uh, what was that, that you were trying to figure out, Evie? <laughs> I was trying to figure out to see if I could make an inside check to see what happened to them. Well, more serious of Zorin at least, because Lord's cared, uh, fucking. Monk has been just switching like TV channels, so I've just been hitting that remote multiple <laughs> times. So maybe this is par for the course for him now. But Zorn has not acted like this. He's usually been upfront and pious, but now he's kind of being withdrawn and reserved, which is not normal. I'm also so I wanted to see. Up, I'm throwing up pea soup. Yeah, my head pee. spinning around. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you do see that there is there is actually something going on you you were in the room or you were kind of outside of the room looking in and you noticed mm -hmm. you know through the through the crowd that the two ghosts had disappeared and and the way that he his demeanor now uh lore's demeanor seems kind mm -hmm. of uh kind of low-key like shy like like a child's type you know persona he could still speak he can still be himself He's just he mm -hmm. just has like a tendency of of like withdrawing a little bit. Could I get like the assumption that the kids might have possessed them? 
Uh, with that nat 20, yeah, you you definitely oh, yeah. feel that there there is a possibility that they got they got possessed by them. Okay, I'll turn to Doe. Uh, they're most likely possessed. So as adults, we should do the right thing as adults do. Let's scare some fucking kids. <laughs> to intimidate gonna, the, ki- the ghosts we, out of them. <laughs> a, intimidation checks? I love this. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> Let's Wanna intimidate the fucking the kids. kids out of... Oh, dear lord. I don't have anything else. All I got is Look, intimidation. <laughs> um, I, I would tell them to deal with their own problems, you know, like my father. I mean, I mean, like, uh, you know, <laughs> I, we're just gonna, you know, oh, yeah. Just make it worse. <laughs> All right, uh, do a uh, do a charisma int- intimidation check. Okay, oh, here we go. We, is that against our will power, or like our will saving throw, or what do you do for that? No, no, we're trying to intimidate the children to scare them. Oh, I see. Damn it. Does that does that one d four? Is it only one shot, or does he get to it's, use it it's, again? It's one shot. Okay. <laughs> Well, Damn. Jackson's gonna scare the shit out of one of them. Uh, so which one were you f- were you looking at, Jackson? You were. I was looking at Zorin. Bro, at I'm Zorin? running. <laughs> <laughs> so, so at this point, the the entity releases from from Zorin. Not that he releases Zorin, but that he releases from him. Like he appears. Uh, forward and what he does he, he ends up thorn ends up going over here and hiding off by the bed okay so just game wise is the entity out of my character or yes. do i still have to act like that no no you don't have to act like that. okay so i shake my oh. head and i'm like oh my that felt really strange I'll take a half-ass swing now at uh, Jackson. Oh no, because you're hurting his sister. Right. I know well, shit. <laughs> you're scaring her. So, at this, uh, well. <laughs> oh. Not how I expected it. I was going to do it with disadvantage though because again it's a, a untrained kid is there a theme song well. <laughs> too bad the bard's not here all, all it does is say, if you if you Oh, this is gonna get ugly. Isn't the isn't the white dragon dude like his bodyguard or some shit? <laughs> in uh, essence, yeah. In essence, do you want us to roll initiative or do you want me just? Yeah, to... uh, you can go ahead and roll initiative if you want to. The question if we is, want I to? Mean, the the reason why I say if you want to is because the child is in Orlando right now. If you do damage to Orlando, you're doing damage to Orlando. Yeah, Deb. And the child. So he could take a half ass swing towards you and you can let it go and have a talk, or you have the capability of just killing Orlando at this point. <laughs> so well, we know what Evie wants to my... do. <laughs> So, could I, if I could let him take the swing, I think I might have a way to do this. I'll let the, I'll let him swing. I have an idea of what to do on this. Okay, I, I kind of want to make it like a, I want to make it like a power move kind of thing. Here's the, okay. It. So you're you're Orlando. You're moving towards Jackson right now, right? Correct. All right, Molly. You actually have a, uh, uh, the capability of doing an attack right now so you can do uh you have the uh, you wouldn't know this but you have um what is it called when you're leaving the space of somebody that could be considered a uh an enemy uh, 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 opportunity opportunity attack attack. yes so they're very different now so yeah be careful so you do have the ability to grapple 
as he leaves your space. Same thing like with you. Like grab him? Yes. And what's the downside of that? Uh, that... Jackson gets hit. No. You have no downside because it's your opportunity to attack. He doesn't, he can't attack okay. you. Okay. So what do I roll for the gravel? Uh, your strength check. Strength check. Against his uh, dexterity check, I believe. Let's do it. So I, I, try, I reach to grab. Culprit. The kid I, inside I, low. I was reading this Normal. today. It's athletics check versus either athletics or acrobatics. Athletics mm -hmm. or acrobatics? So yeah, it's athletics. It's athletics check. So athletics is the attack, and the defense is either athletics or acrobatics, whichever one the other player chooses. Athletics and athletics check. Okay, so. so yeah, because yeah, grappling, uh, grappling is considered wrestling. Wrestling is an is a sport, which is. Do I get an advantage for that since it's opportune or no? No, no. 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 Okay. The advantage is, is that he doesn't get to hit you back for this one. Right, because it's just like a free hit. Gotcha. It's like yeah. Overwatch and like XCOM or something. Okay. All right. Yeah. Normal. Nice. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you All right. Brush that shit off. <laughs> Oh right. man, I'm getting to him. <laughs> I tried, Jax. Tried. It's fine. It's fine. I have a way. I mean, I'm between. I it's can fine. just imagine this massive Goliath, like, bear hugging him from the back. He just, like, breaks out of that shit. It's just like, what? He just slivers slip um, on me. That's what it is. He doesn't break it. Come on, man. I'm too strong for that. <laughs> I mean. Go on. I'll grab him because. <laughs> I'm a little bit better geared for it anyway, maybe. No. I have a plus nope. five on my athletics. <laughs> so do I. So do I. But that doesn't make it better. It makes it easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you missed. Well, do you want to fuck in a word or something? <laughs> you, you failed. Me? I mean, you can't really say. I mean, it's better. It, this would be a better option than me just killing Orlando here. I have a way to do this. <laughs> Jesus, guys. Let the attack just go through. Huh? Alright. Your character wouldn't allow that, though. Actually, mine would if he's telling me to let it through. Oh, he's saying that? Okay. Yeah, if he tells me okay, to let so it I through, a, why would I, I say no? I have a reason. Just go. Just go. Okay, so I'll do it at a disadvantage because, like I said, it's half-assed. He gets two 20s. <laughs> at 12. No, that doesn't hit. Okay. I want to, as like the attack misses, I to dodge the attack, I step forward and I get my face right next to his face. And I just go, get the fuck out of my friend. And I want to use an intimidation again. All right, go for <laughs> it. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work though again. Let's see. Nope, <laughs> it didn't work. No. Nope. Uh, I tried. Well, hold on. Could he have... Um, advantage from having a previously scared the other child. Mm. I, I'm I'm asking. It's not a, a have to. That'd be one no. of those situational. The... Well, it frightens me a little, so I step back. <laughs> <laughs> I would say for for the uh, the change in tone, voice, and everything, the the getting into the character itself, and the the explanation of how it. I, I want you to be able to do an advantage on this if you want to use. Uh, what I would give you right now is the uh, uh, token. Basically, okay. a token of inspiration. Okay. All Dope, right. So, so not great. Nope. Successfully, uh, successfully pushed out Rose. Oh. Rose is no longer in Orlando. Uh, in his mind's mind's eye. All right. Now kill the kids. <laughs> now oh. Orlando, uh, what I want you to gain from this is that you were still able to have your own thoughts your own conversations in the head with in your head with rose uh, okay so you were kind of getting a feel for who she actually was and and what what she what she would truly want and what she really wants to happen to to her and how her and her brother can like this this conversation lasted for a span of maybe maybe a minute 
but it's as if you got to know her over decades within your mind. Uh, so the, the conversations, you, you know her, like, intently know who she is and that she would never do harm to you. Um, how to help her, uh, what had happened to her. So I, I, I turn and say, there's no need, there's no need for any more violence. They do not mean us harm. They, they came to us, myself and uh, Zoran, in order to communicate better. We, shall, we should bring them with us as we continue our investigation. All right. And then, and I, uh, and I, and Rose, I look at the kids and I say, just don't invade us like that again. We will help you. Just tell us what you need. Rose looks at you. I'm sorry. We're going to, to burn our bones. I, um, I telepathically talk to, um, the barbarian. Nice. And I say, as soon as we draw them out, burn both their bodies. And hold right there before you respond. <laughs> what did you say in the beginning before burn bodies, sir? I, I spoke with you in your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What was the first part of what you said? We're going to draw them out and then. Draw them take... out, okay. Oh, I yeah. got you. He's going to get them out of the room so they might not know what's going on to their bodies until the fire takes them. Can we ask them also why they lied about uh, about their parents being in here? We didn't ask that, actually. We just immediately decided to burn their bones. Because I don't trust them either. Now that we're uh, trying to... I would say that their argument for that is they wanted someone to be in here and they might be the ones that sealed the doors. Yeah, just, just really screwed up. Like, I want these poor kids to get rest. Like, the, the fact that each moment that they live in this horrible existence, no, this is messed up. Okay, yeah, well, Salur says that to me, and I respond by pulling my mole, pointing it at Zor, Lur, Zor, and I say, Are you a mind flare? How are you in my mind? What do you mean? My thoughts spoke in my, my mind. I've been sitting here. I haven't said anything to you. How did you do <laughs> that, man? Anyhow, let's keep moving. <laughs> well, I think most of us just call thoughts or words in our head thinking. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but it wasn't my thoughts. It was him. How do you know yeah, that? When you're conscious, big guy. Okay. It was, now, it was not to get voice. not to get too philosophical, but how, how, how do you how do you know the difference? Because don't like you tell yourself to think your own thoughts. Yeah, when you think, are you thinking in the way you sound? Somebody you talks speak to me in my, no, somebody I don't know. Some strange voice doesn't just randomly talk to me in my head. Never has, and then out of nowhere, this voice that I know, which is Zorin. Speaks to me in my head. <laughs> this would be a good segue, Culper, for NordVPN. <laughs> We're also inside. Wow. Called, uh, uh, <laughs> you're also surrounded by these things called ghosts who've been taking so, over people. <laughs> so, the one thing that I know is that, in, in conversing with Rose, there is a crypt in the basement. And that's where they wish to be laid to rest. Okay. All right, they bring so, the bodies. So, yes, I shall carry Rose with me, and we shall go to the basement. And I'll I carry. Yeah, I pick up Thorn. Okay. And I and I speak again to Molly. I'm like, once we leave here, make sure you do burn the bodies in that crypt. <laughs> Yeah, I Either. start walking away. <laughs> Not very nice. 
Okay, so uh, what I want you to do, Zoran, stop right there. Is that as you're walking past that dollhouse? Oh you, no! I want you to. I want you to kind of notice. There are because you you have such a high passive perception that you notice that there are doors in there that are open. That um, it has all the information of this house. That is a two scale model of this house. Hey, bring and that model with you while we go down to the crypt. But it's a big ass house. <laughs> yeah, but he's not strong enough to drag that. No, this is this is a two scale house. This is like the house itself sits about four to five feet tall. Yeah, it's like moving and some like IKEA furniture to this guy. <laughs> Well, the, I mean, I, I feel kind of awkward. I'm carrying a dead body right now. Do you want me to put this down so we can take a look, guys? Well, I'll hold the body then. <laughs> yeah, so take a look at this. Here, you take you take this. I gently hand the body to you. And check this out. This is a two-scale model of the building that we're currently in. Uh-huh. Is there a way to open it? Wait, open it. Well, is it closed? It's it's open. It's open. Oh, you it's can, open. Okay. Yeah, it's the whole the whole right. front end is open to where you can see everything that's on the inside of it. Yeah, let's see if we can find any secret rooms or anything like that that we wouldn't we we miss on the way here. So, uh, looking at the looking at the model, um, you see the the two secret rooms that you'd already entered into. Um, while exploring the house already. Uh, but then you see uh, on the floor that you're currently in, there's a another secret room that's showing up in this, in the, uh, the room with all the covered uh, chairs and whatnot. Uh, if you see where I'm pressing the button at. Over her? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So it looks like there might be a hidden room just across the hallway over here. Now, one thing. Well, we're oh. we're already doing something, right? Like we're already carrying the bodies. Isn't it kind of weird to drop the bodies and do it again? Or no, no, no. Uh, right now, you th this whole time you you recall that this whole time you've been looking for a way into the basement, and there hasn't oh. been a way to the basement. You remember Thank you. we had Thank you. you could see our way in, right? But got it, got it. I okay. see a little version of yourself there. That's why I was going to just suggest burning the whole house down, waiting a few hours, and then just going down that way. That's <laughs> actually not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the thing that we're inside the place that would be burning. No, we're, no. We're currently, yeah, trapped, in the, we're currently we, trapped in the building. I mean, we could go back to the room like and, jump off the, and jump off the uh, balcony. Yeah, I can see the balcony. That's what I was thinking, too, when I was out there. Like, we could just take that down somehow. It would be too hard. That's one way to burn the bodies. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> like, even the skeletons we missed. There's probably like six of them in the damn walls. You didn't prepare for this, did you, Dungeon Master? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that you say that. Because he didn't. <laughs> no, because I did. Cause yeah. <laughs> I thought to myself, I was like, why wouldn't they just jump off of the fucking third story? I mean, it's just a little well, bit of bludgeoning damage, but... If well, one falls see, over the third banister, story they could would survive. be something like 30 feet. That would get you possibly upwards of 2d6, 3d6 damage. There's a second door story balcony. Oh my god. There's also windows on the first floor. Yeah, but uh, there there were no uh, on the second floor. There were no uh, balconies, I believe. Uh, yeah, the, 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 we're technically on the fourth floor now. Yeah. Oh yeah, no third floor that was, balcony. Third floor was a balcony. Third floor none. Fourth floor wasn't. You can throw Doe off, see if he lives, and go from there. <laughs> wow! I mean, also, to be fair... Oh, no, never mind. 
Well, let's uh, let's take these bodies and I offer to you know pick the body back up. I don't know if you're bug bugged by it or not. Jackson does not care whatsoever. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna go through the secret door. Or we're gonna go secret there, door. Cowards, so. Secret door. Secret oh, door. We kind of have to go through the secret, secret door. door. Yeah, that's also true. Is it behind, down behind here? the staircase? Yeah, down, right, right down where Orlando is. Uh, going into that into that room. I'm frozen. Not by the GM. I did not freeze you. No, no it's lag. I know. Back. I'm telling you, Craig, we're gonna get a scrub club server going. <laughs> I'm thinking I might, yeah, I might actually get, I might actually get like a hosted server then. I'm gonna check this desk right here. All right, uh, give me one second, let me pull that up. Like we could probably pitch on something deadly and then host a bunch of services from. Right. right. All right. So this should be. Uh, this dusk choked room curtain uh, contains a slender bed, nightstand, small iron stove, a writing desk uh, with a stool, uh, empty wardrobe and a rocking chair. There's a smiling doll in a lacy yellow dress that sits in the northern window box, cobwebs uh, draping it like that. a wedding veil. Yep, gotta go. I'm moving. <laughs> I just saw that shit. <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> uh, I am gonna check this uh, desk. BRB. Uh, looking at the desk, uh, you don't find anything in particular, just some papers, some stationery. Um, nothing important on these papers? No, nothing important on those papers, no. Uh, you do, you do kind of see that, uh, there's like you know, wind, windmill emblems top left. Do I have any insight as to what those windmill emblems mean? No, they, they you just kind of notice that they have they have it on there. You don't know where it's from. You, you know what they do. You know what a windmill is. Um, it's probably like the heraldry for the family. True. Take that doll with you. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I but I do want to use sleight of hand and try to put the doll into Zorn's backpack. <laughs> There's no way <laughs> I would notice that. <laughs> I'll uh, do it. Perception versus sleight of hand. Yeah. Okay. Fucking ass. Wait, wait. <laughs> I have a plus five sleight of hand. I'll do it. I'm not bad, but uh, yeah, if you want, if you want to do it. All right, I, I, I can do it. Don't forget, you still have inspiration. You have an inspiration token if you're gonna use it as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's too <you> normal. <laughs> All right, oh, there we go. Shit is in my bag. Uh, successfully <laughs> add that to your bag. <laughs> <laughs> You really fucking hate my character. I'm gonna start getting pissed off at you soon. <laughs> All right, me going. I'm just gonna that. throw a low low key fist bump over, right? I, I walk over to Jackson and and I, I say I apologize for my actions. They were not my own. Oh God. Fine, I understood the situation. I walk over to Molly and go. Well played, sir. And I added creepy ass doll to my inventory. 
<laughs> Without knowing. Why do you have an asshole? Herp. Yeah, I know. So, where is this door for the uh, secret room? Over here. So we gotta go downstairs to get to that, right? If it's in, if no, it's that's in on here. the same floor. It's on, it's on the same floor, the same floor as floor. you guys. Uh, the, from what, from what, uh, oh. Zoran was able to see, he was able to see that this same flight of stairs goes all the way from the top story to the bottom, but there were no openings other than at the top. standing did i miss anything i was gone for a minute no someone just put a creepy ass doll in my backpack <laughs> a creepy yeah. doll yeah without yeah creepy me, doll that was in the... yeah without you oh i left right when you were describing what was in the room so how did they put it in your bag and you don't know slide of hand, hand. Is... <laughs> <Is> that <dope>? yeah <laughs> oh my god I'm lagging so bad. What the frig? Let me move. Wait, yeah, where are we going, going here? So easily? Just no, drag going... it once. Just drag and then release once and leave it and then it'll update. No, it keeps saying I'm colliding with the wall because it's a doorway. It's not picking up that I'm going like around the doorways. It just slow, it's all. Are you using a numpad thing? Because your numpad is also like manual motion. Oh, that is nice. I didn't know that existed. No, some... that, no, I'm using a mouse drag. Like, I, I click and then I drag. Uh, Alright, yeah, I just... figured out how to go downstairs. <laughs> just use dumb pads. How do I use the, you just like... Left, four, right, eight, up, down. Five, six, four, eight, I mean, four, six, oh, two, eight. Your, 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 arrows, your, arrow pad, your arrows work. Too. Yeah, arrow keys work. The thing is, is like my dumb pad, I use it from my like push the talk and so it like moves my character it's fucking dark as hell in this room i can't even move from my spot <laughs> so sorry about that yeah if you uh if you refresh you should be able to see it now uh the advantage and disadvantage were missing sorry see if they're see if they're there now Please let me move. Okay, so we're in the basement. Oh, we keep saying I'm colliding with a wall. The door is open. I don't know if it's lag. I, I tried to move with the numpad and. Oh, move. It. Move ang move diagonally, like I think because some of the doors are like right on the halfway point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I no, I did, I'm trying now. I just can't get through this one. I, I got you moved over there now. Thank you. Uh, Thank I'm you moving so Jackson too. I appreciate that. I, I really was struggling there. That was awful. Because I've had the problem, you know, since doing this, but not to that extent where like I was able to usually get through the doorway. I couldn't get through that one. Holy fucking Stark in here. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I can't see shit. <laughs> I don't even know where to move. Did you guys go up? Or... <laughs> I, I, I'm just staying at the stairs so I don't oh, scream at right. else's shit up. Someone's moving me. Where, where am I going? I lost visuals, so... Someone moved I'm me out of the gray map. screen. Culprit's <laughs> sending me to another planet right now. <laughs> I, I put you... No, oh, wait. How did you move? Did you move back into the stairway? Dude, I swear to God, on my screen, it, was, it showed it must, someone like could just control my character, moving him like out of the map. Like I got moved like, it's it's back to the staircase now where the- <laughs> You got moved what? out of the map, damn. I was getting moved like 400 feet to the left somewhere, like 400 miles. Like I was just getting <laughs> sent somewhere. <laughs> I don't know what oh, was going man. on. I wish I could have showed you what happened there. Are you on push to talk? Okay. 
that oh, hold on. Ted, 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 no. stop. I'm trying, no. to get, I'm trying to get off no, this thing. I know, I know. Just let it sit for a second. Can you not let hear me? Let me see if I can. No, we're good, we're good. Never mind. Sulek? One sec. My thing's messed up. Hold on. Am I good for you guys? It yeah, I can, I, hear, you. I can I hear, hear you, yeah. Hey, you're good, yeah. you're good, you're good. Said that. Hello? I can hear you, Molly. I know, I'm fucking with you. I know, because you said it's something. <laughs> you're such an asshole. I hate you right now. I actually don't know where my character is on the map, though. <laughs> I don't know where your character is on the map either. I can't see it anywhere. Well, some That's... fuck one of those kid ghosts possessed my fucking ogre and moved them. <laughs> your ogre? <laughs> it's basically an ogre. Oh, man. Oh, there he is. I think he's, uh... He's in the hidden staircase uh, on the, s the floor where the bedroom is. <laughs> Such conversations that exist in D&D. You heard Colton? Where that yep, little I bathroom was? Where the, I see him. Where the broom, broom broke? I don't know how I got there. I don't even know <laughs> how the fuck I move him into there, but that's where he is. <laughs> Cause that's a lot of lock staircase. You can't get in through there on that floor. <laughs> Would this be a good time to to maybe take a break? Yeah, if you need to go. Yeah. And yeah, I need to use the restroom. So. Yeah, go for it. So I had lost visuals on the on Foundry, so I'm stuck at a gray screen. I'm just smart about he's just coming back there and you're. Get my character out of hell. He's from hell. Oh my god. Dude, he's literally in a location I couldn't even move him into. It's fucking weird. I had no way to move him into that spot. <laughs> so freaking random. I mean, you guys have played this more than me. Maybe you've seen that shit, but I wouldn't know how to even get him in there without, like, if I could reset the bug of war. Permissions. I can't even. I think what happened, Molly, is it probably lagged while you were moving, and it just freaked out. It's like, all right, you're well, done. It was because he was moving. He moved me, so maybe it like it moved did all my movements after he moved me or some shit. That's I don't know. Possible, I guess. But like, I can't move out of the house and shit. You know, like it was moving, like yeah, so you far away. You broke out, man. You now you can set the house on fire. <laughs> I know all the secrets, by the way. All the fog of war. Oh, no, it's gone. <laughs> he can see the code. <laughs> oh, shit. He's chosen one. I deleted it all. <laughs> I know. I'm not going to be able to see shit now. I'm going to be real quick. <laughs> I'm still going to bathroom, so I don't hold anything. Up. Okay. I don't want to uh, if you refresh PC the again. page, uh, you should be able to see the advantage disadvantage stuff. Uh, sorry about that. It should be there now. You can check. It's sketchy to refresh though, because it takes a long time to load. Yeah. Yeah, right now I'm definitely trying to save up on getting a, a an actual streaming computer, but I think uh, I think it'd be probably best if I was to get a, uh, a server that's hosted. Especially if we're gonna keep doing this, because I'm I'm enjoying myself. I hope you guys are, and I hope the yeah, I hope dude. the chat is as yeah. well. Evie's DMing next. Oh God, no. No, I'm just joking. I don't think. Well, see, I don't remember him saying he was ready to do that. He was like, "I'm just a player," and in fact, I'm just a DPS player. You guys can't make me. Do <laughs> <laughs> He's not a DPS this I time. I can play luckily. something else. I just play, dude. <laughs> He's like, I could play an NPC that doesn't do nothing, but you know, 
<laughs> you merchant. Washes <laughs> dishes inside of a bar. I mean, we're good. A tavern. The thing is, in like most other games, I'm the I'm the tank or the healer. I think only oh, yeah. in like these games I've ever been like the DPS. And even now, you're not really a DPS. You're kind of a no. DPS. I'm using. I'm kind of a DPS, but I've taken more of like the uh, the support role. Like I've been taking the spells. Like all right, it, it's cool. It does damage, but it also gives disadvantage. It reduces this. It does this. <laughs> like it, it has like all these very options, which fuck over other things. I see you're a fan of guiding bolt as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to take that. that yes. <laughs> That is awesome. when I level up. I'm going to take Guiding Bolt. As of right now, if like the beginning, I took things that will let me live. Like shield and mage armor and cure wounds. Yeah, same. I'm back. I'm back okay. as well. Okay, back. And I can see the party. Thank God. And uh, get some... everybody has now leveled level two congratulations i are you telling me i can hit double hit points oh my god how do i level them up I just... yeah you want us to do this now or do you want us to so yeah. the way the way that we would probably want to do this is uh i expected to be here like last week so it is in the the middle of i i didn't know if we were even going to make it to this far yet uh what I would probably suggest is go ahead and increase your health points by rolling for them. At that point, uh, we'll go ahead and bring it into the uh, bring it into the game real quick. Uh, but until you have a successful long rest, you can't get your new uh, your new um, what you call it uh, spells and abilities. Makes yeah. sense. Uh, that's fair enough. Go I'm back upstairs and go. Do <laughs> it's time to take a nap, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a couple of beds. Good God! If uh, that oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, I have something for this. If that's the route that you guys want to go, okay. Zorin can cuddle with the dolly. Doesn't know he has. Uh, Rose's spirit and Thorn is with you currently, as you have you know their bones for resting, right? Yeah, we gotta mm -hmm. finish. Rose Rose looks at you and 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 tells you Zorn you guys can go back up to our room I promise we won't hurt you and I will make sure that you guys are safe <laughs> oh, God. I'm, conflict I'm, I'm really conflicted on this <laughs> because I'm a, I'm a religious man, follows the standard, right? I hate the undead. I hate them. So I'm like trying to keep it cool here. And, oh. To us, they lied to us already. I think we continue to go on our path. Because. Yeah, let's just, yeah, let's just keep going for now. We're, we're going to pay for, I think we'll pay for being greedy. If he wrote, if he has something drawn up just for this, and he's, it's like, oh yeah, you can, you can get the upgrade early by sleeping sure, in the sure kids can. room that lied to you. Yeah, okay, sure just can. just because I don't want to be uh I don't want to be the person that's like uh, I don't I don't want the reason to be because of the GM doing a terrible job at this. Okay? No, just, that's I, not, I, no, no. What I, I want you guys to understand is that I I I'm trying to think of every possible, you know, probability that can happen in here. And I'm not here to kill you and I'm not here to help you. I'm here to tell the story. And it unfold, and you guys make the decisions that you know weigh heavily on the future of the the areas the, that you're within. So and right the truth now, is we're being facetious. We're 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 being a little we're being a little facetious. That oh, oh he's so oh no, I get it, I get it. We're right. gonna get, we're gonna um, continue on because that actually makes the most sense. Right, we have these. We gotta we started something. We gotta finish it. We gotta get right. this uh, yeah, like nobody's gonna just start napping in random beds either. Let's go put that. these bodies back down and go sleep in these dead kids. <laughs> yeah. There's only two beds. I'm fucking seven to five. Where am I sleeping? I'm good. Get the shit done. I'll I mean, sleep in the corner. I I would say at this point, Thorin does have empathy for these kids, and with Thorin being within his mind, 
and the conversations that they would have had within those matter of moments, uh, he would feel comfortable in doing so. And know that there is no malicious intent from the kids. You guys can nap. I wouldn't be able to sleep. We can get spell slots back and hit die. How long? How long's a long rest? Is it eight hours? Like an eight yeah. hour sleep? Yeah, eight yeah, hours. it would be a long. It would be a long rest yeah, for eight hours. Nah, and short rest or anything from like one hour to. It's it's, it's fifteen minutes up. And and so right now, okay, we'll get to that in a second. The thing that we need to worry about first is we need to roll for hit dice right now. I'm, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm just doing it through D&D Beyond, so uh, I, I'll get mine. How do I do it? Uh, so you should have your character sheet in D&D Beyond, right? Yeah, go back into the car- go back into the builder, move it to level 2. It'll automatically fill in your good dice for you. I can't do it in the pop-in. The pop-out. No, no you you'd have to do it in the d d Beyond, and then Im- import it into it afterwards. Uh, that's weird. For some reason, I did it in d d Beyond. I lost three hit points. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, I had 13 hit points at level one, and then when I put it at level two, it went down to 10 hit points. Uh... Okay, sorry, per character sheet. Yeah, um, uh, have one of those open. Can uh, Josh, can you explain? Can you, repeat that? Can you explain that? where on the page that he can uh, he can do the upgrade, do the roll for his hit points? Um, it's... so on D and D Beyond. Yeah. Yes. I, 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 I can explain. I can explain it. I'm I'm right there. So okay. okay. Bring up your character sheet, click on the anvil that says go to builder. Okay. And then um, that'll take you to the club where right almost a cl- immediately to class, which is to level two, and it will actually automatically make your hit dice for you. Okay, so hit points just. No, don't, don't even do the hit points, just move from. Yeah, it'll say level. On the right it's side, like, okay, I got you. Yeah, and move it to two. And then I'll fix your hit points for you, then click on the character sheet icon that's directly to the right of where it says what's next and then take you back um after you move to level two yeah click on click on the character sheet icon that's oh okay up top yeah and then copy the url that's at the top there go go back to foundry so it's not at what next export to pdf that's it's i go back to character sheet yeah yeah, yeah. Go, Go back from your character sheet. Okay. Um, and then, after a copy of the URL at the top, go back to Foundry. To the left of your name, it'll say D and D Beyond. Click there. Paste the URL into that into that spot, and then click Start Import at the bottom. Okay. And that'll do it. Well, I didn't call that, but all right. Unable to open Compendium. It it, it happens fun. from yeah, it happens from time to time. Is it still updated though? Yes, it should. You check your hit points. Did they change? Uh, how do I back out? Do I hit close or do I close the whole thing? <sighs> I see that you turn to a level two barbarian. Yeah. Okay, it works. You got it. Yeah, it is close. Cool. And I also I rolled publicly for my hit points. I, only I got see it. Three. So three plus two, so I got five additional hit points. Sucks. You just rolled a D eight. That's all you roll. No, well, that's for me. You roll a D twelve for yours. How do I know what I roll? So your class chooses, uh, it, or your class is what determines that. Because as right. a barbarian, I think the fighter and the actually I'm not sure on the paladin anymore. But for sure, the barbarian and the, the fighter, they have a D12. Uh, the ones that are typically the ones that are supposed to be getting hit more often, like the ones that are supposed to be in front, have a bigger hit die. 
it goes all the way down to like wizards having okay. a d6 it says it in the class level under barbarian hit die d12 gotcha. yeah i was wondering where i see that awesome sorry how do yeah. i export the character sheet Boy, yeah, with the d6 <laughs> okay hold on uh you import the character sheet by going into your character sheet that's inside of the foundry virtual table yeah uh, you click the D and D Beyond icon on the left hand side. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, and then you copy the URL out of D and D Beyond and put it into that URL here, and then pull the information with the start import at the bottom. So I rolled an eight. That's not bad. I had that. I had eight hit points. So eight plus, plus, your, con. plus your Constitution modifier. Which is a plus five? Wait, no, plus three. So you get 11, 11. points. Holy shit. Yeah, I could, just add, I could just change that here, right? Yep. I could just edit. Okay, cool. Fuck yeah. I'm actually so lost here. I think I fucked up. I am. So uh, as long as you remember what your, your hit points were, you don't have to worry too much. So go ahead and... Tell me what were your start what were your hit points before you made any changes? Yeah, shit, I don't know the top of my head here. Um I didn't move anything, so one sec. I uh, so it's 12. twelve. Yeah. Alright, so roll go ahead and roll a D eight. Um one second. I got so many windows up. This is brutal. I... Oh yeah. <laughs> At least you only have one character sheet to update. Oh, nice. Okay, and if you look at your character sheet, what's the plus next to your constitution? Uh, His constitution. is zero. All right, so when you're in D&D &D Beyond, you're going to add eight to your hit points. So you had 13, so you should be at 21 now. Yeah, 21 out of 21. Wait, I was at 12, right? You were at 12, 20. yes. And 20. So he's at 20. You're at 20 now. All right, updated. Yep, now copy the link, the URL in D&D &D Beyond. Make sure you're on your character uh, sheet. He, he updated the character sheet inside of- Oh, uh, I did the wrong one. Fuck me, I can do the character, yeah, let's say. Yeah, go into that one, and then- Weird. And mine's it. It doesn't matter that you changed it. Oh, it <laughs> bro, that's <laughs> <all right>. <laughs> <laughs> So sorry, but hopefully your con's really high. Oh, uh, it is. Okay, good. I got five hit points. That's why I like fucking fixed. I mean, if I had gone fixed, I would have had I would have like twenty hit points right now. But it is what it is. Yeah. Um. Let me see. So. Hold on. I feel stronger all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm trying to. More filled with life. That almost gave me like double my hit points. <laughs> right? Mine, mine, mine actually, yeah, almost doubled my hit points too. Mine doubled mine. <laughs> so, see, I think I'm on the character sheet here. I think I'm trying to, it won't let me add to my hit points. You don't do it there. You said so copy the URL after you've changed. The thing in the anvil, like you updated, your, you upgraded your character to level two. Yeah, you did that already. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you just copy the URL, then you go back to the character sheet inside Foundry. Yeah, but you guys keep saying copy the URL. I've asked like, why? How? Like, what? What? Where? Where am I copying? Oh, like D and D, D and D Beyond. Dot com yeah. slash, slash profile, profile slash, slash your your name. Shit. Yeah, I have that. Where am I copying that? The URL that's up at the Are top. You pasting it. You're copying it. Where? I do not. 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 Where am I? Where? He, where am I? He pasting knows where it? the URL is. I know he where the URL is. Like, so you're gonna paste it in Foundry in that character sheet. Go back to Foundry and then click on the button that says D and D Beyond. Right next to Doe. Oh, right there. So that's yeah. That's what I was looking for. I have like a million windows open. Right. I'm trying to figure that out. You kept out. saying copy in there when we were all telling you what. Yeah. To copy. Sorry. Sorry, Sue. So like. Yeah, but where implies like a location to be. <laughs> or where to find so that's why we were like it's up there well yeah, where so do you... okay oh, where? i forgot yeah. to do my spells one second hold on uh... 
close that and see if it, uh... Yeah, and I'm getting errors. Unable to... It, 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 no, you, you got it. It worked. Okay. Uh, now you just Don't gotta put it. 20 in the hit points and you're good to go. Hell yeah. And then after the game tonight, we'll go ahead and, uh... I would hope at least by after the game, if you're not gonna do it now, um, we can go ahead and uh, figure out what uh, what attributes you wanna put onto your characters, like what new spells or abilities. Yeah, it kinda makes sense now that I did it, but everyone was using like character sheet interchangeably between the two different ones, right? So I didn't know what everyone, didn't know what Windows people were talking about. Oh, you're fine, dude, you did fine. No, uh, you're, sorry, I apologize for not being super just, just too many, too many chefs, you know. Very right. true. This is still going. Okay. And his, his shoulders are still uh, glowing, right? Yep. That's why I added the icon back. <laughs> It glows for an hour. So do I know that we don't have spells, like the spells that we gain from level two, but do we have our spell like abilities active? Like, can I turn undead now? Uh, no, you wouldn't have anything extra from what you had except for your health. Okay. I'm perfect. I'm perfectly great with that.
Who are we waiting on to come back again? I don't know. Uh, I'm here. I'm Anyone? here. Big roller. I'm here. Uh, yeah, so, I'm like, here. you back? I was gonna push to talk, but yeah, I'm good. Okay. All you here? Yep. All right. So, as you get down to the bottom of the uh, the staircase, hey, you see that it's a it's a wooden spiral staircase that you came down from, uh, and it opens up into a narrow tunnel that stretches southward before branching east and west. From the moment that you arrive into this area, you can hear an eerie, incessant chant echoing throughout. It's impossible to gauge where it's coming from at this point. Can't discern the words that are coming from. All right, Doe, you're going into that area right there? It's advanced darkness. <laughs> so, uh, you on the left hand side see that there's a blank stone slab meant to seal this crypt, leans against the nearby wall, and the crypt is empty on the left side. Uh, I can't see shit at all down here. I guess as far uh, as I'm peeking. I'm not going too much further here. Well, you can't see anything? No, I can't see shit. <laughs> uh, why is that? You have dim vision. See, as of right now, I can only see... Try moving a little, because I couldn't either, but once I started moving a little, it opened up for me. Vision was. Yeah, I can only see, like, to here. That's it. So there we go. I, did, I, that, I, did that open up? I, I, I need yeah, two that minutes, up. guys. I need two minutes, guys. I'll be right back. All right, on that on that right side, though. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, let's see. On the sorry. So you see that these are the family crypts. On the left side was uh, so family crypts. Uh, several crypts have been hewn from the earth. Each crypt is sealed with a stone slab, unless otherwise, unless noted otherwise. Um, based on the the placards that would sit upon it. Uh, then on the left side you see that it's a blank stone slab and to sell this crypt leans against the walls uh, nearby and yet the crypt is empty uh, the right hand side uh, you also see another stone slab that was meant to sell this crypt that leans against uh, the wall nearby etched into the into this crypt though into the the placard on it, it says Walter Durst and the crypt is empty. Damn it. Well, I get a little bit spooked out from all this kind of stuff and I'll take sure. a few steps back. Just 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 let the let my team oh I'm blocked. I can't go through. Wonderful. <laughs> uh yeah, so you can. You're a halfling. You. Oh yeah, I can like shuffle under there we go. Yeah. There we go. Do we want to go this way or do we want to go south or uh up, well, that's like up looks like. I believe up is east. Okay, go them east, south, or this way. I say we continue the direction we were going, so south from where you're at, Molly. So going inside there, you see that there's uh, no way through. It's just, it's just a crypt that's closed on the back end that was hewn from the earth. 
that I'm... All right, let's back it up, guys. It's on the other side. Yeah, let's check the other side. Also a dead end. Looks like there's nothing to the south over here. Is Ted back? It looks like he's moving his icon. Sorry, I, I left myself on mute. Yeah, I'm back. Okay, okay. Where you're at right now, Ted? Hold on. Uh, where did you guys go from this room? I'm like, slow getting out. I'm getting stuck on the wall. Same. Uh, they went, uh, they went left and then down. So yeah. from where you're at, Molly, down. Jackson, where you're yeah, at? I found, I found Laura left. Jackson. Yep. Yeah. I'm waiting for the server to recognize that I pressed movements. So these these are still you're almost there, right? Trying. <laughs> it just keeps telling me I'm running into a wall. Uh, you you were for a second there. Now I think you caught up. No, there we go. I see you now. All right. Um, looking at these, you can still see that these are also part of the family crypts. Uh, going into it kind of see that it's similar to the other ones. Uh, this one, though, says on the left side, says uh, Gustav Durst etched into the uh, the chamber's placard. Is there... And I, I take it there's no there, there's no lights on the walls down here? Uh, not really, no. Uh, yeah, I'm you should... I'm going to reach into my pack and pull my torch and light it. It's your already glowing. Okay. I, I'm, I'm not really seeing anything with my glow. Okay. Uh, let's. It's the whole time. Hmm. He literally glows with like white light for 20 feet. Now, there we go. Now I see everybody. All okay. Right. Do these, uh, does, does Gustav's tomb look like it's been disturbed at all? Uh, no, it just, it, it looks like it's a, it's a closed door in front of it right now. Like the slab is, is blocking the door. Good. That's the way they should all look. <laughs> this top and bottom ones are, look like they're open. Now that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Do uh, do we see names on on this on on, on the one that I'm directly in front of? Uh, the one that you're directly in front of shows uh, Gustav's name on that one. And then when I go down to this one, uh, that one does show Elizabeth's name on it. But I'm looking for Rose's name. Okay, it's not on. It's not on the the the. Either of these two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold right there. No. All right. So where you're at right now, uh, Grawrig? Yeah. Um, you can see that there's two. There's two more slabs that are next to you. 
And where you're at right now, Orlando, you see that this room contains a plain wooden table flanked by long benches. Moldy humanoid bones lie strewn across the floor, floor, dirt floor. The remains of the cult's vile banquet still sit upon the table. DM, I've glitched at the walls. Really? I won with the walls. You're one with the walls. <laughs> she reminds me of like that Homer Simpson meme where he goes into the bush. In the head, oh, yeah. Pop this out. Uh, can you use the ping tool to tell me where at? You're over there. Yep. Uh, life. Hey, okay, everybody, hold where you're at. Grorig, uh Yeah. Uh, is do, are you looking around? Uh, is Orin, yeah, I'm, what are you I'm doing? I'm gonna look for tracks. You're you're looking for tracks. Okay. Yeah, any sort of like what's passed through, how long it's been, kind of thing. I had to get into a place where these guys hadn't been to start looking. All right. I'm gonna, uh, do, a I'm gonna well, do a religion check right now. Hold on. Hold on. I can only, I, we, these are all happening at the same time, uh, but I can only speak about one at each time. So, Grawrick, you, you see that there, there have been tracks that are in your area right now. Um, basically, just, you know, like people that have walked past and over time, it's just, it, you can see just a whole bunch of tracks all over the ground. Like, people have been down here quite a few times. Um, but looking looking to the side right there you you do see uh the name drawn across the door uh on a placard that says rose and the other one does say thorn well guys looks like they're meant to be over here where you know all right you're you're up here aren't you i'm gonna come up here oh i see you okay he just popped out of the shadows. Hello. But uh, I mean, I don't have to. Which one says Rose? Mm, the one uh, on the left. Well, uh, let's see. That would be the yeah. We'll say the one on the left is Rose. The one on the right over here would be uh, Thorn. I I I go in here and I lay I lay Rose to rest, and then I put the slab in front of the door. Okay, I grab them. All right, I put them in place. Do you guys think we have to do the same with the maid? I was in the one chest. No, the maid. Sure she not doesn't part of have the fucking family. resting. Oh, true, true. She's too poor to afford rest. <laughs> no, no, it's I just that she's a, not part of the family. The they would. I think it's a chest. Had, yeah, I was gonna say she had a chest. That was her coffin. It was that's, up there what they, that's what they put all her <laughs> poor dead bodies. You see where they put the gardener? Um. <laughs> it's in the shed. <laughs> Probably I wonder why that apple tree looks so so well, for, you know, <laughs> fitted with fruit. Yeah. All right, so at this point, uh, let's see. Uh, Oh, okay, okay. That's what that. Oh wait, don't want to. Is that? What was that? If you can please. L larder. All right. See, uh, just nothing. I closed it. All right, cool. Okay, you have successfully laid the children's bodies to rest.
is there anything I can roll to make sure that they're not just that they're actually gone? Uh, because I will not tolerate the undead. Like, I won't do it. Would that be like a history check of understanding how this works? I mean, it. Religion. Well, oh. I I would be able to identify like the tracks of undead, because you know they all have different issues that occur. Like skeletons won't leave a, a full like fleshy footprint. A zombie might have a, a scraping kind of thing. Uh, ghouls sometimes run around on their uh, hands and feet. You know, it, it's that kind of thing. So oh, me think... looking for tracks would be... Okay, so you're looking for just any tracks of anything that might be down here? I'm... No, I'm talking okay. again more metaphysical. I'm. Yeah. I want to know whether or not their souls are at rest or if they're just going to pop up in like a year and still be ghosts here. A year? I'm worried about like two minutes from now we go upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, less about it in a year. Like you told us to you bring these down here. <laughs> if we're still right. here in a year, we have pro bigger problems. Oh no, no, I'm talking about I'm, I'm talking about for their sake, not so, not for the party. Like this is assuming we're not investing in this property, right? Like it's. <laughs> I don't know why you guys are even talking about. Oh, I got the reload application thing, Majiggy. You know, I guess there's one way to find out. Open that shit up and burn it. Well, I, I was just asking if you guys knew of, uh, was it, would it be history? Would it be religion? So religion sounds close enough to seeing if whether or not those bodies have been actually laid to rest. Um, because he's a paladin. Yeah, I, I would say religion. religion. Yeah, go ahead and, uh, go only and do only he had religion. guidance. What's your um, religion bonus? It's, it's intelligence based. It's only a plus two. I I could I have a plus three. I could try it. I guess. Well, so yeah. If you guys are if you guys are working together, in order to do this, then I would say a roll with an advantage. Okay, so I roll with advantage. Does anyone have yeah. a higher chance at this? I have uh, twelve intelligence with the plus threes, so. Yeah, yours is higher than mine. Okay. Uh, yeah, mine's a thirteen intelligence with a plus three. Okay, you do it then. You get the advantage. You get you get one more than me. Brawrig Jackson. Oh or no, I'm not an intelligence no. bait. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not no. too much, but I I, I thought because my guy's like proficient in religion, it might have made sense. But he's got the yeah. Slightly no, the the proficiency gives you an extra plus two to it. So, does, yeah. that, does that just go into my plus three, or is that something different? That is part of the plus three. So your okay, intelligence okay, modifier gotcha. is only a one, and gotcha, then your gotcha. proficiency gives you that extra two. Yeah. Hell yeah. Cool. It gets better later on because your proficiency bonus will go up, and that will mean the stuff that you're proficient in, you do better. Not, not to digress from the strict campaign um, the, with that, right? The, is that like when I choose the what attributes I want to upgrade? Will that be what um, enhances the... I'm trying to remember if it's at fourth the level bonus? or if it's at a different one. There's like, set does that points just level up it. itself, or do I yeah. have to put points into it? Okay, it's, no, it just... levels up on its own based upon your level, your total cool. level. Okay. Yeah. Continue, my bad. No worries. No, dude. I got a 14. Yeah. Uh, 14. 14. You you feel that the 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 bodies of these two children, you you feel at ease knowing that they have been laid to rest. And that you, with the proper way of laying them to rest, and their, um, basically their their assigned resting places within the ground, uh, you feel that they are they're not coming back to bother, to hurt, to to do anything to anybody in the future. And I I, I turn to them and say, and look at them and go, they are at rest. I relief relief I'm like that is really good to hear all right I, I pat Zorin on the back I'm like I know I was bothering you 
Yeah, because I, I was about to p go to my backpack, discover the doll as I was pulling out oil in this situation, in this dark ass crypt. Yeah, that would have been really bad. What doll? I don't know. You're supposed to know about it, right? No, no, I'm talking <laughs> as a character. What would have happened? Like, oh, okay. Awesome. Like the sleight of hand too. check was so good that it's like hidden in my backpack. I will never know it's in there. <laughs> it's like it's stuck away. in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> it's wrapped in like a towel. Oh my god. No, I sewed. It, I saw. I was sewn into the fabric like really quickly. Oh, right? Inside the backpack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you used to have a hole. I patched that up. Oh man. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, Go ahead and get your guys' selves into marching orders to to traverse this. We continue in south? Yeah. Okay. Um, I can move to the left of the bench here. Are we going are we going past the bench? Okay. I'm just moving halfway at the halfway point of the bench right now. Oh man, that's really nice when you're around Orlando. Yeah, I can Lighten actually see you. Holy yeah. fuck. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything to the left there, girl? Can you see in that room? Is that a dead end? It looks like a. Uh... Here. Let me step. There, look. Yeah, it looks like the uh... stairs down. Uh, go ahead and hold. Hold. Yeah. I kind of figured. Also, is this a picnic table in a damn crypt? He said hold. No. Whatever it, I mean. it, it, it's not it, just what? a crypt. He said hold. <laughs> Everybody just scattered. It's a cockroach. Don't <laughs> went from like right behind me to like out of my view. <laughs> he said hold. That was like fuck that. I'm out. Making a it's hissing like sound. Scattered. Making a hissing sound coming from the corner. Where there are a pile of bones sitting around it. You hear a. <laughs> I, I draw my sword. Draw my roll for initiative. In Lothado's name, I shall smite thee. There's no active encounter for me to roll initiative. <laughs> Oh, what? I thought I was going to be last. Damn it. <laughs> ah, that is the... Am I first with a 14? Oh, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> Say someone else. <laughs> Dude, the Grick gets to go before you. No, I'm not going to go before it. Give it a roll. No, Grick's got a six, though. dude. <laughs> I don't even see the Grick on the fucking map. How <laughs> the like, fuck? It. <laughs> ah! Dude, yeah. <laughs> I'm a mad lizard. <laughs> oh, fuck. So the hiss came back in the other direction. Let's spend our let's spend our turn just hissing back at it. Well, <laughs> let's start with it it's apparently my turn. <laughs> I don't even know where you went on this map. <laughs> yeah, where are you at, bro? <laughs> He's to the left and up a little bit. He's just below that coffin. King, your character. <laughs> He's right here. All right, thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> How do you do that? That's cool. You, you hold down the left me. click. All right. Oh, badass, thank you. All right, so. Five. Ten. Let's see. How hard would it be to hurdle the uh, bench and the table? Uh, would that that would be an acrobatics, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Athletics. Athletics or I, strength. I, I, acrobatics for me. Said, I, I thought he said hurl. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, just fucking chuck the table. <laughs> oh, you're hurdling. I thought you said yeah. hurl, like you were gonna hurl no, like I'm, yourself I'm like, over it. Run, run over the you know go straight across that instead of around okay well if you're i mean 
I would consider it climbing, so at that point, you can either take half half speed going over that, or you can kind of like do an athletic check to see if you can hurdle it, like to jump yourself over it. If you're sliding across it like Dukes of Hazard style, then yeah, that would be it, an athletics check. Or okay, a, yeah, an acrobatics that's, that's check. what I'm going to... I want to do the athletics check. Okay, so then you're jumping over it. You're not trying to... Yeah. Okay. Fucking go. 17, success. Cool. So You were successfully so five, able to 10, jump over that. 15, 20, 25, 30. And then that looking thing. So I'm going to draw my uh, longsword instead of my warhammer. And then where's the button to end my turn? Uh, it should be right there next to your, uh, your character up there in the carousel. Oh, no. He I think you have it set as the Grix turn. Yeah, you, oh. you do. There you go. There we go. What the hell? So are your guys. <laughs> I was saying not able. Not started. Oh, that's right. Begin combat. There we go. Okay. There. All right. And Doe, you're up. Uh, can I intimidate it? Uh, you can certainly try. Try. I could do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and intimidate it. Fuck it. Get a straight out roll. Wait, can I use my advantage? You can use your token. Yeah. Because I don't I don't I don't want to get screwed by this thing. I'm close enough to it. Like you could you you, you can have actually walk action, away from it. So. I like, could. Yeah, you can you can like legitimately just walk away from it right now because you're more than five feet away from it and even okay. still you're halfling um, so it can't attack you and grapple you or get, get you because you have the halfling uh, capability oh, of yeah no I thought I was going to get screwed um, if I tried to step away okay well, um, you're far enough away you're outside of its reach most likely and then yes. you, you can always take your action and then move you don't have to do things in the, in the order of oh, okay. I move and then I act it's you have a move and an action. You can okay. actually use some of your movement, do an action, and use some more of your movement. Cause yeah, no, I all right. I know I thought I thought he could do something, but never mind. Okay, okay, misunderstanding there. Um, all right, screw it. I'll do the intimidation thing anyways. No, and that screws up. I'll back out. Um, all right, I can just click it. Uh, you also have the capability of ready in an action. So if it walks into your square or next to your square. That you can attack it because it walked into your square. Okay, okay. Well, we'll just roll this right now. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Oops, I didn't mean to move. <laughs> of course, he <laughs> rolled a 19. <laughs> <laughs> Got a dirty 20 on that one. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. Planned. Um, and you didn't use advantage on that either, so. No, I didn't. Good. All right. So at this point, uh, the, the, the Grick kind of looks a little bit cowardly in the corner towards you, as if it feels kind of, <laughs> kind of afraid uh, of what you just did to it. What did you do to it? <laughs> I stared it down and looked it in the eye. Your, your little beady ass eyes. Yeah, I gave it. <laughs> it started speaking in tongues. Oh hell no. <laughs> Like, you know those snake charmers that, like, they just, like, stare down and, like, yeah, that's exactly what that was. He was wiggling his tongue. <laughs> wow. 
Is that so? Does that do anything, or could it do anything? <laughs> it's, when, like, it's, do it's, like it's it's afraid of go it right now. It or anything? Does that give it a no. buff? Give him a buff towards it or something or no? Not really a buff. It just kind of stops him from attacking. It kind of pushes him back in the timeline. Wait. So, but hold on. If someone should give him disadvantage on obstacles. But what um, if we're what? like? Oh. It should give him disadvantage. What it does for when you intimidate something, it just makes it less likely to attack you. So really what it's just going to do is just attack Rallrig instead of so, instead. Right. Yeah, but here's, of it. here's if the If you question. have a magical spell that does fear, then it will move away from you as far as it can. But that's not mm. what you did. But what that's if not like we're, a special right. thing you had. What if we're both standing on the same square? Does he get my buff? No, he just doesn't no. attack you. That's, that's oh, not a buff. Yeah, yeah, that's... That's okay. like that's as if like you just did like a natural instinct thing. You just made yourself seem like the apex predator, so he's not gonna fuck with you. Yeah. He's, he's like, gonna fuck with someone else. That guy. Seem go like that guy. I am the apex predator. I think we talking about. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, okay. Well, I, I it's, we're good then. Um, It'll... Yeah, yeah. Uh, what the fuck? Which window here? Uh, Wait, actually, says I mean I can sword. swing at it. Oh shit! I can keep moving it. Does that mean I can swing at it too, or what? Uh, that uh, was your action. Yeah. You just had movement left. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm just gonna take a step back. I gotta switch my fucking vine. Sorry, guys. You're fine. So, since like in a strategy situation like that, it would that thing scared of him, right? Could he just like go behind it? Without an attack at him, to then create opportune attack situations because it, it's scared of him. So where we're then like it's taking an animal, sides and shit. If it's a, if it's cornered, it's probably gonna attack him if he gets close. If he's really scared right. of it. Okay, I get what you're saying. Gotcha. Depends. On, it's like dependent on the situation and all. Uh, I don't want that. Looks like it's your turn now, Jackson. Yeah, I wanna move so I can. See the thing? Where the fuck it is? <laughs> I can't see it either. Yeah, I can't see it either, so I can't even like right. attach to it. It's straight can south, you... which yeah, it's to the right. Can you ping it? <laughs> that thing? Right there. Yeah. Alright. Uh well let's see if I can get over here so I can I see it here. Oh there we go. I have to get on top of the table to see it. Then I will. I will make. There. There. Under frostbite against it. Make a constitution saving throw. Alright, let me go ahead and do the saving throw. Because that's a guaranteed hit unless I can take half damage, right? Uh, yes, on a failed save, the target takes d6 cold damage. Uh, if you pass, then you take no damage. You failed. Ooh, so I failed. So go ahead and roll damage. You, uh, you take Effort. four. You take four cold damage, and you have disadvantage on the next attack roll you do. That's a useful ass cantrip, dude. All right. Yeah. Uh, I took all cantrips that had secondary bonuses <laughs> to be <laughs> support. So he also gets disadvantage. So I'm gonna do a marking on and him. His next attack. I believe that there is a action. Yeah. Then I'll end my turn. Okay. Uh, I will move to here. It's not your turn yet. You're it's not, not your, your turn, turn, bud. Oh. I thought I heard someone say Ted, so I'm sorry. No. I said okay, my bad. Um, all right, so I'm going to move here. It's, okay. it's five feet of uh, so yes. pile, right? Yes, I, I'm allowing the, the corner to corner as well. Okay, yeah, because it's Open like it. half the bench. Yeah, you're, all right, okay, you're fine. You mean, okay, because I'm going to diagonal, got you. Yeah. That's 10. 15. I can't even see them from here. There you go. Uh, go diagonal and then go straight. So go diagonal to here and then go forward because he's right there. I see him. I can hit him from here, though, right? 
Uh, what are you are you using your javelin or are you using what are you using? Spear. I, I guess I guess because it's distance, I'd have to move up. There's a tile. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's still Just one. Just move up one more. Uh, 10, 15, 20, 20. Okay. Yeah, I can move one more. Okay. Can I have an update on like what, what he looks like? Because like he got hit with the false start. Did that do anything? To yeah. Yeah. Uh, looking at him. Um. Oh yeah. Let's uh. Have you tried the? Frostbite? I have tried frostbite. Have you? Okay. Yep. It was a it was a bone. Oh yeah, bone shard. Yeah, uh, so yeah. that looks like this. So the uh, the frostbite uh, it was a uh, fires a one foot spike in the shape of a bone, splintered at one end, which then explodes with cold energy on impact. Uh, so you see that you know there's it it hit it. Uh, kind of like in its in its what you would consider its torso area, I guess the the long slenderness of it. Uh, it's a snake type creature that has like uh, four um, four pairs of lips that kind of close in with teeth, um, almost like a, a a flower for a top with a beak, like a like a, a bird, uh, like a I don't know a pigeon. And where it hit it, you see it like it hit its torso area, the the longness of its uh, right underneath its head, and it kind of like splintered off into it. Uh, but the the it it doesn't look like it phased it too much. Um, with, with my rage, right? I can. That's a bonus of action, right? So I can yes, do that. Yes, rage is a bonus action. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna activate rage. Do I hit the dice for that? No, no. rage is just something you do. You okay. pissed off. You hit the table. You right, go. Right. All right. So, I, you know, start like, fucking roar and like run up to him as I did around the table, and like, with my maul drawn, and I get up in his face, scream in his face as he after he hissed at us, and um, I'm gonna. <laughs> I also I also have a uh, the passive ability of reckless attack now at level two. Mm -hmm. So I'm uh, gonna use that. That can't be what? used quite yet until you have a long rest. Oh, even though it's just a passive, it's not like the attribute increase. Right. Uh, basically, uh, until you go to sleep and you have that full rest. I thought that was just. I got you. I thought that was yeah. just for the attributes you were saying. My bad. Uh, okay, I want to use that. <laughs> Correct. Hold on. Now, can I? Can I ask it if we can go take a long rest real quick and then play it right there? I get my. No. <laughs> All right. If you, you want the Grick to lay next to you and, and cuddle, that's yeah, that's we're fine. Gonna, we're gonna, we can just close the door, you know. Then <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna attack on my mall down. Do I have to add anything this to the again? Sorry, I forgot about that. There we go. Sorry about uh, that. I gain advantage on strength checks. I know rage. You get a plus two to damage. Okay, so I just add that for to what it. level you are. That's your like attack damage roll. Don't know if you get a plus to a hit though. Right, I don't think you do that. Your... No plus to hit. So let's see. It gives you one minute, so it'll last what ten turns. Mm-hmm. You have all Bonus damage action, bludgeoning, enter. slashing, and piercing. It gives you a plus two melee damage with strength weapons. I should rephrase. Do I do I add that myself to the formula, or do I just do a normal attack roll with the moss? You're gonna probably have to add it. Yeah, you'll so, just add so it. So I think if you actually click the the if you remember right, if you click the button on there for rage, it'll actually put it in there for you. Okay, see that's what I was asking on the feature if I hit the roll thing. Uh, oh, try it. Yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, usability. There you go. So that'll tell us what it is. Now go ahead and roll and see if uh, see if you can Mall. use the mall. I clicked it again just to make sure it like, took the. Okay, that and didn't uh, it, so it didn't change anything in the formula. Okay, uh, then just add the plus two in there. However, you have to roll at a disadvantage because chat redeemed. Uh, 
five hundred lurk coins oh. to oh, that have is... you roll as a disadvantage. <laughs> Fuck you, Chad. <laughs> oh, I, the situational bonus, I just do plus two, right? I don't anything else. Uh, plus, so two yeah, plus two and then two disadvantage. The is for the plus two gotcha. is for damage, not to attack. Oh, it's, it's not just for the damage. Attack. Okay, right. Gotcha, gotcha. Nope, just the damage. Apologies. Sorry. All right, it's ten. Probably not gonna hit. Uh, as you as you screamed at it with your rage and went to go hit it, um, unfortunately, it kind of didn't its tell where you were aiming for, and oh. you were you you just you met with the floor, unfortunately. It's Doe's fault right. again. So I end my turn. <laughs> So I was right here. Mm -hmm. So five, ten. He was only on diagonals, he said. Yeah. All right, this is a good spot for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cast Sacred Flame on it. And it needs to roll, it needs the dex saving throw. Bastard! Oh, that was. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank God. Wait, why are you? What's that? Why did Molly do this dexterity saving throw? Oh, because I had him selected. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can do shit. <laughs> I can select. I can select everything, but no, he didn't. Uh... I, I, okay. I jump in front of the the sacred flame to protect the uh... <laughs> the great. <laughs> the great. <laughs> like no, he's my friend. <laughs> Grick's turn. <laughs> Alright, Grick's looking at uh uh looks like the Grick sees uh the closest opponent being uh Damn, I don't have your name on here. I have it Arc. 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 A car, a car, a car. Oh, that's right. Yeah. A car. car. Yeah. It's so weird because I have I have Molly the Mad on here because that was the name that you were going with at first and then you changed it. So I gotta no, fix I, that. I gotta. I fix went that. with a car from the get go. I just didn't have it in the oh fucking okay. character name thing because I didn't know that's what I had to do. I, I just yeah. you know what? Let me. The, the whole bio and everything is a car though. Yo, Rob, thanks for the raid, man. Appreciate it, brother. I changed it on the character sheet too, and I fucking moved it back to this. I don't know why I did that. Uh, it might be because I need to change it on the token itself. I just did it again, so we'll see if it. Okay. Yeah, the token itself dies here, you're saying. That's his Molly. Oh, okay. Ooh, he's the next attack receives a nat twenty. For players. All right, yeah, for players. Uh, let's see. Which that'll be. More than that. So he's got you targeted right now, Molly. Uh, a car. Yep. He's going to pull back his tentacles and then let them fly at you. Just as, as he snares, uh, a disadvantage. Mm hmm. Frostbite. That's right. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, Jax. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for that. Be a piece of shit to you this whole campaign. I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't work out. <laughs> what? I tried. <laughs> Bro, look what he got. Oh, no, my goodness. I tried. Oh my 17 God. and 19, that's, that's the, the what you can only hope for when you have to roll at disadvantage. Every once in a while. Dang, all right. So even with disadvantage. I try to help you out. <laughs> that Grick's like, fuck your disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, if anyone can take the hits, my guy. Yeah. All right, all right. 
And you're also raging, so you half the damage. So let's go with the uh, the grit hits you for ten, Molly. Well, I have stone endurance. Use it. I'm gonna use Molly. That. Molly, just so you know, you're raging, so you take half damage to bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing. So you only take five. Five. Right, but I can yeah. I can reduce the damage. Yeah. I'm what just is, telling you. 1d12 plus 3. I mean, I can take nothing right now and just laugh at it. Yeah. <laughs> you can do that. Because we're going we're gonna to rest soon anyway. I mean, I'm going to get it back. <laughs> we're getting our fucking upgrades. I can do that, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to go for it. I thought you were going to say something else. Like you were, it sounded like there was a... No, a no, there was no extra to that. It's a, yeah? Nope. All right, I'm going to do it. So instead of 5... Well, I guess I just hit damage. Yeah. So I would take none, right? Yep. Right. Cool. So I, I need to dodge the tentacles, even though I'm seven five. And just arch my back back while while Zorn sits there shocking off. Mm -hmm. Man, this big can move, move that well. <laughs> At their face plan earlier. <laughs> so, so did you actually dodge it, or did you actually take it, the hit? He just took the hit. I took the hit, but I, I tried to dodge it. <laughs> it's, like, <yeah. laughs> it's even better. Like, ooh, it you. In it. <laughs> like you look at your face, but like you're like surprised. Like, oh god, I got hit. And you're like, that didn't actually hurt at all. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four. I don't think well, get there. I'm gonna get right there, and then I'm going to, I'm gonna hold. You could have actually went north because di he said diagonal school over the table. Yeah, uh, got there in five. It's a convoluted clusterfuck in there. I, I, I. If, I, if he sends yeah. any kind of spell in there, he's gonna be hitting it kind of. Well, actually, no. The first, okay. So I right now, spell casting yet? So. Chat provided a natural 20 on the next attack. Mm. Yeah. So, so oh, if it's I, on I, him, I, they'll get a growler. There you go. Yeah. I'm going to hold. So I'm going to hold so that I, because there, there's just too much going on in there. I wouldn't be able to get in. Right. I mean, it, it works because we can save the nat 20 for growler or doe because doe can get on the same spot as me. Yeah. This is true. Well, I mean, he could also be there while I'm there. I'm just considering shutting the door. <laughs> there is no door. Oh, there is no door there? No oh, door, there. door there. Not this time. That's why I went in there. I, I made sure I was halfling proof before I <laughs> fucking adventured. Alright. Wait, there's a table. We could just push it up against the thing. Oh, Eros is trying to get your attention. <laughs> I see it. I see it. So, you're able to move past me? Is it, like, through me like that? That's cool. I so, that. the, the way it's described is that, like, you're, you can, you prevent your, an enemy from just moving through the space you occupy, but your friends, you'll, your they'll, like, slip through. by and not interrupt you. Okay, as long as you have enough, like, movement to go yeah. actually past it. Okay. There's a guy that actually, like, put down rope in five foot squares and showed like reach and shit. It was kind of entertaining to watch. That's hilarious. Uh. Mm. Well, you hit it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to fucking swing at this bastard. Okay. Well, you definitely hit it and you critted with a natural 20. Yay. Which today was... This. And then, uh, and then, you know, for for so everybody, oh, this is this is be... technically what you get because you rolled it for him. Got him a natural twenty. Um. That's pretty lackluster. <laughs> 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 hey man, I'm using Better a enough. fucking longsword. So you Wait a second, that should be a. Hold on. No, I got duelist now. It should be a. Uh, uh did you get that at level oh, no, two? No, I did give it plus two. Never mind. Yeah. 
It did give the plus two. Did you get that at level two or did you get that at level you one? You don't get that. Oh, then I need to remove those plus two. Yeah. So four less. Uh, it'd be six. Okay. I think. No, wait. I rolled four, five, six. It would be eight instead of ten. So eight points of damage to it. Eight points of damage. All right. Yeah. Isn't it doubled because of the crit? No, you roll. He rolled a two d eight. He rolled so a one and a four, which the, is five. The pluses don't get doubled. Only the dice do. Gotcha. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm gonna step forward and just like. Right between Molly's legs, you know? Right here. How epic would it be if he had the spear and he stabbed him from underneath Molly's legs? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm gonna take a swing with one of my swords, I guess. I'll just do a standard attack. Okay. You also get sneak attack. <laughs> yep. Wait, so sneak, what do I add on that? Okay, I can't remember. Uh, I think it's a D6. I think yeah, it's a 1D6. To your damage. That's if you hit it, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I'll just do a regular D6 here. Oh, uh, hold well, on. First, let's see if you, 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 you can gotta hit see it with if, Yeah, oh, see wait, if you yeah. can Sorry, I didn't first. say Yeah, yeah. Uh, it looks like uh, as you were trying to go for it, and it. it curled his tail in the opposite direction from where Molly, where it, where it pulled from Molly, and then, or a car, and then you stabbed to go hit it again, and you kind of missed and hit between its, uh, between its torso and its tail. Oof. All right. I'll do... Frostbite, frostbite. Yep, yeah. another frostbite. <laughs> All right, so here's where I have to roll. Mm -hmm. And oh, then, oh, hold on, oh, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Eros redeemed points that says I have to re-roll. Oh. I got a 13. Oh. take five cold damage how long does that and disadvantage just, stay uh is it the uh, whole until just a frostbite so and it has disadvantage on the next weapon attack roll it makes before the end of its next turn perfect okay thank you so if you attack once you have disadvantage on that once but if it's something that's multi-attack and attacks two or three times only that first one's at disadvantage that's right in the in the closet like when we were fighting yeah, the in broom, the broom yeah, yeah. Fuck that broom. You, I was the one that got fucking beat up by it. Yeah, but it, yeah. Was, it was trying to hit me and it kept stabbing you. It was a nightmare and I couldn't move. Uh, good times. Good times. Yeah. It was only like it was yesterday. Or four <laughs> hours ago in the game. It was like four hours ago, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so uh, is that in your turn? Yeah, that's uh, my turn. No well, it. Time to smash. Huh. Oh no. Going for just hit him, hit him with the mall. Cock back, right. have it over our head, and swing down. Try to do it quick before someone can redeem something. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh -oh. This is just a slippery little shit, man. It's a. <laughs> it as, as you're coming down with that mall, the mall it it misses the tail again. It, it tucks it up inside of itself. Oh god! <laughs> oh jeez! It must be cold in here. <laughs> so yeah, it was a, it was unfortunately it, it just met with the ground with a furious pound, and that was it. Fucking unfortunately missed. Pounds.
Well, I will end my turn. I hope you. I hope he succeeds. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta roll that saving throw so I can see if I can actually do damage. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> yeah! Oh my god, dude. This fucking. <laughs> this is like. This is like a fucking like, ninja. Endgame like, boss. It's like juking everything, dude. Alright, well, that's my turn. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Well, we know it's higher than 13 at this point that you have to hit the hit it. That's the highest we've hit without it landing, so. What was the lowest that's hit so far? We had the nat 20, but there was something else that Doe did, right? Uh, just mine was just his constitution oh, checks. Yeah, don't, you were, don't yeah, look yeah. at me. Right, right. That I'm, wasn't I'm the, hitting on something entirely sweat. different. You know, I think that hit was the nat 20, technically, beside your frostbite. Yeah, it probably has like a 14 or a 15. Mm hmm. Are you able to, like, buffer defenses? Because it's going to probably go at, go at me again, I assume. I can, or I could wait until you take damage and heal you up. Oh, okay. Because uh, you're the only one that's gonna take any damage, and don't. Worry. I didn't know I you could heal. I would have saved my. I would have saved my stun endurance. No, uh, it, it's it's better because you can get that back on a short rest, whereas Turtle. I have to wait eight hours to get the one uh, spell okay. I have left. Yeah, that's fair. I was gonna say, me and uh, Zorn have like one spell slot to our name. Okay, left. so it's like that's that's like the. Save a grace finds like the yeah, yeah. that's like yeah. if you go down we can bring you back up. Oh, yeah. It's like oh it's like oh shit he's bleeding out. All right, let's do it. Hurry. <laughs> you drain your life energy. <laughs> yeah, we're like not we're purposely We're not, not doctors, we're EMTs right now. <laughs> yeah. And by EMT you you watch like four seasons of house binge. There you yes. go. <laughs> we watch four seasons of house and we'll put Percocet and then just fucking shock the shock pads and be like, alright, that's good. And yeah, well, yeah we're doing whooping while watching Scrubs. Right, so, <laughs> so the Grick uh, rolls back up and is ready to to. It looks like it's going to try to to use its beak uh, to do damage to Molly this time. You mean again? Well, again, yeah. but he didn't get any damage last time. Disadvantage. <laughs> yes, disadvantage. You should be at 14, oh, yeah. right? Armor, yeah. Yeah, okay. So as it curls back in and it tries to tries to go, tries to go at you, it, it kind of misses and, and where you where you had landed with your maul, it went for your hand and yet missed because yeah, it, you pulled pulled that hand away from your bit. Did it just fucking hiss at him again? Yes. Yes. Oh, dude, that pisses him off. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with us. Don't let us get to you. <laughs> and the end of the now, Greg. Is That's all he can do. A, is there a possibility that I can get in there? There's a little spot between us. You can cuddle in. Like a little spot like right there. Get a little cozy. We can't go that way. You have the gun yeah, from behind me. So you'll have to like probably on your turn you'll have to back up one if it doesn't die in this round. That way it pushes out. That way we can get more people hitting it. Because I can, can back I, out. So I can... I should still be able to swing, correct? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it would probably, it'd probably be best if it was like an overhand motion coming down on it. Like a chopping rather than a swinging. That would fit between the two. Because if you were swinging like within like a, a conal shape, you would hit everybody in there. <laughs> Just a, seven, quick question. Five. Just a quick question. Are there currently three people, including a Goliath, in one square? I was going to say, no, not have one square, four squares. No, it's there's four, four squares. Square. Oh, okay. Yeah, five for, it's a five foot grid, so it's four uh, squares. Okay, I was just like, oh my god, they're all like in the same spot. Like, this is insane. But yes, yeah, so with a Goliath there, the 
like Colbert said, I think that makes a lot of sense. Because there'd, there'd be no way you'd be able to swing sideways with me and the fucking with Grawl and her. No, technically there's five people there. Remember, we're does between the fucking yeah, that's between my legs. legs. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Forgot there are never... bodies there. Someone throw a sticky. Oh god. All right, give me a couple more levels. Then I'll get fireball. <laughs> that'll be that'll be fun. Oh, oh. Heck, oh no! <laughs> nope, that's a party way. <laughs> yeah, when he casts fireball right there. Yeah, that's definitely something that occurred. No. Oh, oh God. Oh to, no, to, we got a it. natural one. Oh. oh. And there I get to finally use my natural one relay. No. Who does he stab? They should have that one like sound bite. <laughs> 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 yeah, something like that. Uh, so I want you to explain how you did it. How did you? How did you miss? Critically miss? I didn't do it. <laughs> the, the way the way that I you, you said that I had to do it is I had to go over my over my head an overhead swing and I clipped the the top of the the archway of the door and knocked my knocked my sword out of my hand. So I'm now unarmed. <laughs> You took it too far, man. You, you didn't dance for all that. You didn't have to unarm yourself. <laughs> it's part of the story. It's cool. I know. I'm, I'm fucking around, Lori. You, you broke it. You, you, broke, the third, you broke the you, fourth wall. You, you're going to be like, you, you know what? Wall. I critically missed, but I still hit him anyways. <laughs> On the fall down, the sword still nicked him. <laughs> it kills it. <laughs> Dude, I wonder if I can find those fucking crit tables and fumble tables. Because there was like a 1% chance on those that you actually did something useful. <laughs> That's awesome. It, it was great. Like, it bounce off the ceiling and like fall well, straight through his skull. And... It, it, it was just, yeah, it, it's like you dropped your weapon, but hey, uh, you, you it, accidentally Garrick. put it through their leg. Robert. It's your turn. It's your Don't turn, stop. Robert. Yeah. Jack Sparrow fighting style right there. <laughs> He trips right. and the sword flings into its throat Fuck or something. <laughs> yeah, some bullshit. Like, as you're dying, you're like, really? That just happened? Okay. Are right, you attacking with a warhammer? Yeah. Come on. I believe. Yes. All right, that's a hit. See what the damage looks like. Oh, as as the the warhammer comes down, it smashes its tail into a flat pancake across the floor. It looks really worse for wear right now, as if uh, it barely has any strength, but it's still fighting to stay alive. I actually feel bad for it now. I don't. Incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Like, we came down here, it's probably doing us a solid, like, killing all the zombies and shit that come down here. Yeah, it's like a natural predator from the fucking... <laughs> I know, we're just the, the biome that, that <laughs> formed down here. It's the cat of the house. Yeah. yeah. It's got a name tag we didn't have to kill it. It's like, <laughs> names like, Gimmies or something. Fucking all right. <laughs> Snowball. I <Yeah>. guess... <laughs> I guess out from between some legs and flying arms everywhere, I'll, I'll take a swing with my, my uh, with my short sword. All right, good. Back. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. Oh. As you're as you're trying to as you're trying to poke at it, because you can't really take that that huge swing being so close to both legs of of Molly's. Uh, you, you you just give it like a. a piercing like push directly at it and uh, unfortunately it, it kind of curls off to the left a little bit as you as it's kind of almost like side slides you and you you think right off the back of the wall behind it missing it 
and it hisses at you. <laughs> Slippery fucking thing. It's like it's gonna like it's gonna go to its like worm heaven and just talk mad shit. <laughs> you should have seen it, guys. <laughs> like I thought I was gonna be dead in the first round. They really suck. There's no way they finished that quest. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't for that one fucker doing frostbite on me and never never I probably <laughs> killed <a couple>. know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Doe, so you ready? Uh, I, I whoops, my fault on that. Ours? They're all like, yeah, yeah, Jeremy, you say that all the time. <laughs> I'm serious, guys. There you go. All right. <laughs> <Nope>. Fireball. <laughs> No God bonus. damn it! <laughs> I need you to actually roll on disadvantage, turn. but I, I guess you would still miss because you are firing miss. directly into combat. Like they are fighting yeah. there. All right, it's a miss. Um, the Arable goes flying past my head. I'm like Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm fighting turns, here. <laughs> the firebolt turns uh, his eye or his eyes turn midnight blue, uh, which the pulses down his arms with a dark purple light traveling through his veins and gets into his right hand and ignites into a purple with blue hued flame and fires and as he pushes forward on his on his palm to face it towards it fizzles and goes away performance anxiety yeah <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to do exactly what I tried to do the last two times, and overhead swing with them all. Oh, oh! Looks like there's a all right, advantage. You, you've got an advantage on this, Molly. Oh, you're the best. I love you. That is. Uh, <laughs> Let's see if the barbarian can hit something with. <laughs> yeah. Oh my! Oh my God! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, dude! <laughs> What is Dude, if if we were playing at a table, all of us would tell you to get new dice. Yes, <laughs> we'd put we tell all... you to put your dice in dice gel, and yeah, just we leave all it putting there. Our dice in gel right now. No, I've been hitting. doing all right. The only one to hit it was Grawl. He's literally the only one to hit it besides fucking <laughs> Belcheck. I right, intimidated the shit out of that thing. Come I, on. I frustra frustratingly throw my maul into the room behind me. <laughs> Watch out, Jackson! <laughs> Jackson! Jesus. Jackson! I just chucked over my head. <laughs> At least it wasn't, it wasn't a natty one, okay? Uh... That's true. That's true. This is true. Ooh, Kill it, Zorin. <laughs> Kill it, I mean, Zorin. It might as well be, though, because if we don't fucking hit a 14, it doesn't matter anyway. Yep, this one's on you, man. You gotta beat the 15. No, it's on you. You gotta got be praying. Saving through. I, I am. I'm praying hella hard right. right now. <laughs> yeah, bitch. There we go. Finally. Yeah, finally. I get to roll with an advantage. Oh, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be enough. He said it was like on his deathbed, dude. Yeah, but that's weak. <laughs> oh, that was. That was so close. Um, oh. So. Mm. Still. Still. <laughs> sliding left and right still taking the damage that you guys are providing it like like you guys are beat well Grawrig no. and and <laughs> uh Jackson were beating the hell out of it right now and then <laughs> Zoran lit its tail on fire as it's as it's it's weakening but still still surviving yeah we're committing war crimes right now we're not ending its suffering we're just like <laughs> fucking with it no, no, no. Right. You guys are just failing at what you're attempting to do. And what sucks is he's going to get a hit right now. Damn it. He, he also, he's uh, he's going to go ahead and he's going to, with with every strength of its fiber, is going to go ahead and curl back and then and then try to try to spring out into uh, uh, with a with an attack from his beak. Hey, that's a World of Warcraft icon. And he still has wait, yeah, he still oh has God, disadvantage dude. right now. Who was he attacking? You. 
you're right in what front of him. Fuck? Yeah, he, he's not. He's not a smart creature. He's gonna keep attacking what's in front of his face. Well, DM miss. also, also DM. He didn't have disadvantage because I didn't hit him with a frostbite. So you could take that eight though. So it's a twelve. Okay, it's still yeah, it's still a miss then. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the last time he attacked, you did hit him with it, though. Yeah, but then he attacked and he missed. That still oh, okay. counts as a weapon attack. I guess I got it. Succeeds or not? Oh, we can just keep that as a house rule. That'd be badass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which one are you guys talking about? Was the the wow icon? I'm real curious now. Me, the beak. The beak. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't even catch that. That's right. awesome. I haven't played that game in years. I'm like, oh my god, that looks familiar. Oh yeah. The fucking vulture beak guy. <laughs> yes. Yep. Hey, fool. Welcome <laughs> in, man. All right. Now Orlando, pick up your sword and kill it. <laughs> <laughs> it's made right. it to three rounds of combat. <laughs> I, I am going to. Hit, I, would I be able to pick up my sword and swing, or no? Could be able to. Picking up, picking up a weapon is a uh, bonus action. You can do that. Okay, so I'm yes. going to pick it up and overhead swing again. Come on. Oh my god. Dude. You know what? We retire. We're done. <laughs> Jesus done. Christ. Adventure people. over. Such <laughs> as such a slippery little thing that's it's it's a pretty big size but somehow i think what's happening is everybody's nestled into this corner and kind of bumping shoulders while they're trying to get at the grick and trying to take it out <laughs> and in doing so with a stabbing over well with a with a slashing motion uh, the grick is able to side slide the the attack from from orlando as well with that that's why we're not Right. Oh my god. god. Damn right, Josh, man. kill it. <laughs> Someone made a meme, pickle grick. So stupid. <laughs> so dumb. Keep it keep it on the table though. Finally, thank God. <laughs> yeah. And with a dirty twenty. Oh god. I mean that was barely a dirty twenty on the sixteen. <laughs> Oh my god. How did you, know you want to do it? Well, I was gonna say old oh, big overhand smash, you know, both hands. I would have roll a one on the damage. Oh <laughs> hold on, hold on. I I'm so sorry. Well no, actually we'll have to do it on the next one. No way, it's still alive. <laughs> no, because we were No, we got a disadvantage again. like right after the roll. We had already rolled for, uh, yeah, next roll, uh, next combat roll. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah, successfully have taken out the, the Grick. He's no longer there anymore. He's just a mushed pile of, uh, Sit on the bench. I don't know, <laughs> smashed like sausage, I guess, all over the ground. I was just going to go sit on the bench. Thank you, Growling. Thank you, Jackson. Let's have some, let's have some shawarma. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> no, get out of my legs. <laughs> but it's warm and safe here. I'm holding on to you. <laughs> it's dead. You can, you can leave now. It's nice and warm, too, because you just released gas. <laughs> oh damn! I also was scared. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me that Greg was not horribly afraid and just confused as hell. As four things are trying to stab him in the corner, and it's still somehow alive after ten seconds. It's just like kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I pick my mall back up and I talk to it. I give it a stern talking. <laughs> 
Unless he knows shit. <laughs> so we talked about well, this before. Here, I'm not gonna here, here we go, Rob. Here, here's friends. what my other role would have been. Just. <laughs> I would have hit it anyway. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> He wanted the the lullivate, huh? Uh, playing Curse of Strahd, fool. I think it's time for us to make a hasty retreat. Um, there's more places to check down here, and mm -hmm. something tells me that the doors aren't open yet. This is probably what the little girls were talking about when they first got us here. So I think we have mission something accomplished. Something in the basement. <laughs> oh great! Still hear the chanting and uh, hold on right there, Orlando. <laughs> Uga chaka, Uga chaka. A queen of zombies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> me. Uh, <laughs> Right now, we don't want to give a DMCA, right? Stop. <laughs> right now, the ghostly That's chanting a heard. Big lane. Hold on, guys. Hold on. <laughs> right now, the ghostly chanting heard throughout the dungeon is noticeably louder to the north. Uh. Which direction is north right now? Uh, north uh, is. Left. This way. Okay. Um, right now you hear rumbling from the earth coming up out of the ground. You can what? hear something like in the close distance down the hallway. Things first, and go and hold off. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You guys, you guys were further back on this. You guys have to. If if you guys want to stay together, stay together. But if you guys go off on your own, you guys are off on your own. So <laughs> um, I need I need several of you to move up there by the table again. Uh, Joe Jackson uh -huh. and a car. It was only Orlando down here at the at this time. <laughs> this will end well. I'm trying to move. I I seem to recall posting a video in our general, and, and and I guess no one watched it. Uh no no I haven't yet. <laughs> won't let me move anymore. I'm supposed to be right to the Reddit though. Fucker. Down the hall, you see two ghoulish figures to the south of you, and two ghoulish figures to the uh, west of you. Down this anyway, way. Down I, this I, way. I, I see him. Anyone want to go get that long rest in? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'm really happy we uh, won that last fight, guys. Good job. I, 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 I call out. There is more. There are more undead down here. That's going to end. Can they all hear him say that? <laughs> Hello, echoey from deep into the <laughs> Down here, down here, yeah. down here. Oh, I hear that, and I'm like, oh, hell no. Let's kill that shit. I am. I mean, do we want to move in, or do we want him to run to us so we can have a kill corner right here? Well, it depends upon what they are and what the area around the corner actually looks like. It says they're demi liches. Those don't sound too strong. Uh, uh, who said that? These aren't demi liches. Where do you <laughs> see that at? <laughs> God, I was like. That's like... All right, so I got those now. Let me go ahead and 
the hell? Go to the battle spot. We are going to be rolling for initiative. Okay. Before, before are we, we not do, allowed to move? Be, be, no, you, you guys. Could you check your DM? Uh, yeah, give me one second. I'm going back up. Or we have to get back. Yes, you are correct. Oh, you're right there. From where we are, low, you should just run back towards us. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm okay with what's going on right now. All right, so I'm gonna, I, kind of shake myself loose and go, how the fuck did I get down here? And I and I look to the left, I look to the right, and I go that way. <laughs> uh oh, I, hold on, I had to change it up. Thank you, Rob, so much. <laughs> oh, he's doing his duty again. All right. He he's gonna hit that double disadvantage for for combat rules for the lulls. Oh no. <laughs> What I like about that is I always go last, so it will never affect yeah. me. That's <laughs> also good. When we do uh, saving throws, we don't get some disadvantage. <laughs> yep. Get fucked. Oh, well, that was a shitty roll. Alright, so... Damn, we have like Us Usain Bolt as a ghoul over here. Like... Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Olympic sprinter. All right, this this ghoul making that man some hungry. <laughs> God damn it! This ghoul is making his way through, trying to trying to get past the ghoul that's that's in front of him, slowing his movement just just a little bit to stop him from going so far up, uh, climbing through him because he 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 saw you up forward and he, he ends up stopping short before getting to you. All right, I still can't see where anything is, so I think I'm just gonna take like two steps forward. Oh, yeah, my vision is completely gone now. Oh, I that's right, because your token needs to move back over to here. Dim light 15. 15. He saw his light on him, so he has bright light. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna have to end it. I still don't know where anything is. <laughs> Shut that hey. shit off. <laughs> Nope, <laughs> he is the glaring sun down here. Yeah, you he should, you should also light. have it as well, so let's... Can you still not see? Well, it's I'm bright. Good now. I'm good. Bright. I'm good now. Everything's yeah. around corners. Oh, I got you. Okay, you just can't see directively, like... Yeah, 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 I, just, yeah I, I, just can't, I just can't see anything, like, of where they are, just because corner-wise, but that's whatever. But now I now I can now I've got enough light to where I can see the the uh, guy you put right in front of me. All right, so now this one, while trying to climb over on top of this one, steps up one closer. He's gonna take a swing on you. That hits. That hits, okay. Uh, let's see, so, let's see. Target is a creature other than elf or undead. It must succeed on a DC 10 constitution saving throw or be paralyzed for one minute. Oh, fuck. So, what's they my damage? They'll get more than one save. Technically, like, every turn they can attempt to save. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
uh disadvantage was that for me or was that for them well he he just did he just did disadvantage he didn't say which Who role for yeah because there is you, one I'll that says for attack rules is what he said so mine was an attack rule yeah so let's go with disadvantage Oh, oh, nice. Did I seriously? Yeah, I got a nat yeah, one, did. folks. He's got a. <laughs> There's my nat one. All right, all right. Now I got one. He swings. He in, in. You see him coming at you, and you were able to kind of like maneuver yourself to the left a little bit as it is it over overextends, and kind of comes at you. And instead of hitting you, it hits the wall, and it kind of hurts its hand itself with a we'll go ahead and roll a 1d4 as it hurt itself you saved us thank you <laughs> well you saved low and that ends not low anymore. that zombie's turn oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm back to low oh I, I was right you didn't, you didn't tell us <laughs> I haven't, I haven't had a hot opportunity. I really haven't had the opportunity to say anything yet. You know when you like come back to being low, or is it just like you just go back to? Oh, I, I, I there's, there's, there's rules to it. Like, do you yeah. just wake up like, what the fuck is this? What the hell's going on? Or, yeah, has, or, and, or and that's what I said. How the fuck did I get here? What the fuck are you? And I, that's why I took two steps back. Uh, Growrig, you're up. Oh boy, I get. So, of course, the counts that is fucking. Five. Ten. And here's the fun part I can't go like. Oh dear god. Um. That's why I said bringing him into our room. Yeah, is probably um, the we best need to. Bet, honestly. We need to set up like. Doors. We need to set up here, in essence. Uh, yes. I'll stay I, right here. I'll, I, yeah, I go in, see the situation, back out to here. <laughs> Fucking no. So where are you guys looking at and gazing at if we're backing out? Literally uh, right here is going to be our best bet. Right here. Let them come here. We, we That's going to be our up. kill point. We should so back up another here. one because nah, only one we, can get this point right or do you something no. one at a time? yeah we want them one I at want, a time all right yeah i all want right. low to so, go like right here if i can uh, position the marker right there so we, they can kill him in here and uh growrig wanted to are you just staying there like you just i, I went in back? saw the situation and backed out okay and, and, and getting and getting ready in case they get to me i'm gonna ready an attack okay that's what i wanted to find out um, so you're just ready to attack. You're not actually attacking yeah. yet. Okay. Um, okay. And then, uh, we do have, uh, we have this zombie over here or sorry, uh, this school over here is now going to move forward, slowly making his way. Uh, he kind of with his left hand goes to come around in a swinging motion and reaching for your your shoulder to, to, to grab hold of you and okay. to uh to to basically just stick his claws into you oh all right so let's say um Go ahead, and this has a disadvantage. Uh, attack of opportunity. Uh, sorry for chat. Uh, attack of opportunity would would work if he wasn't on the other side of that wall. Uh, and then let's go ahead and uh, disadvantage this. Does a twelve hit? That does not hit. Okay. Sora, why don't you move diagonal above me one? Because they'll be able to hit me. 
or yeah, draw leg from diagonal from like above the dough. Yeah, I'm not gonna stay here. I'm so I I move up here. I then uh, break the oil flask that I have in my bag, and they square right in front of me. And I look at um, I look at uh, Jackson. And I'm like, you know what to do. And I back out. Uh, okay. And again, it's gonna be right. Does that slip on the wheel? Walking his way back into there. <laughs> uh, I know what he wants to do. All right, can do. All right, so you used up your action, right? Uh, oh, I'm that sorry. Stuff out of the bag. Yep. Yeah. Click the button. Okay. Right foot. Good one, Fold. That, that, that actually does sound like something like he would do. I am going to stand here, and I'm going to hold my action to cast Firebolt. <laughs> he starts splattering oil on his chest. What the uh, fuck? I love Fold. Fold's amazing. Uh, if you didn't hear me, DM, I'm going to stand there, and I'm going to hold my action to cast Firebolt. Sounds good. I am no, no, going... Yet. I better get the fuck out of there. I am going to come to here. Right, well, if I can make it here. It's not liking the walls, but okay. Wouldn't stand there. And So your action is to disengage from them, right? Well, I... I, I'm going to, I want to stand here because I want to, from here, I want to actually cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Does that work against the dead? Yes, it does. It, it says creature. Ew, that's disgusting. You Like, we're all going to come out here with some serious issues, like sleeping and shit. It is what it is. So, DC 14. Okay. Well, first off, you get hit because you didn't disengage. Yeah, you so get he could, fucked he, up. Yeah. yeah he, he could swing, yeah. And he is going to take, he's going to take the, uh, he's going to try to bite. Oh, wait, can't do it twice. Mob already took his reaction. Uh, the mob, this mob did not take the reaction. No, he could, he could, he could bite. Does not hit. Does not hit. Okay. Ow. So Tasha's hideous laughter is a DC fourteen. Okay. Wisdom. So, so who all gets hit by it, and what's the so, radius? So it's, on just, it? it's just it's just a single creature. It's this it's this guy right here because that's the only one I can see. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm gonna put him because they're they fall to the ground and they are prone, correct? Um, yeah. Who are funny and, and fit, yeah, yeah they but they are laughing prone, becoming incapacitated, and unable to stand up for the duration. Um, at the end of each turn, you can do a saving throw, DC saving throw, Wisdom 14 to see if he can break it. Correct. Okay, so let's see. Um, that's how it would normally be. So you cast, you cast Asha's Hideous Laughter. You see it in its face as its face turns to an agonizing look drops to the ground and screaming in pain gasping for air you don't see any physical damage being done to this however you you can tell that the, this creature has fallen and is is <laughs> prone in such agonizing pain did you just 
cast Tasha's PTSD episode <laughs> onto a fucking ghoul. <laughs> hey, whatever works, man. Whatever works. Guess so. Hey, Lurk. And as a bonus action, I am going to go. You the man, Joe. And I'm going to give him some. I'm going to give him some bardic inspiration. <laughs> nice. Zorin, are you able to make holy water yet? Uh, no, not yet. What level do you get to that? I think three or five. Okay. It's whenever you can cast bless. I'm yeah. Just curious, cause we, cause I have some, cause I, cause uh, what I chose. Oh no no with. no! You're right. I I can actually cast at level one. I just need ingredients for twenty five gold, yeah. and one I hour. Just, yeah. We should, are you able to make it? Like, because I think at this fight you should just like throw it up. I think it'll be helpful for everything we're dealing with. Because it looks like it's all undead and fiends and shit like that. Yeah, I mean, it's up to the DM. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't see a problem with that if you. Well, do you have the reagents? Because it does. It it has a reagent that costs gold. Yeah. Yeah. You have to actually yeah. buy that from the shop. I think it might be gold powder. I think it might be silver powder or something. Powdered silver, it says. Yeah, I don't have that. Okay, I was just curious because I was looking at it because I know we're fighting undead and I have some. Yeah, the... we're gonna have like we're gonna be using these things like damn water balloons this campaign. Right, that's what I was thinking. I'm like these things are this gonna be really handy if you just <laughs> knock them dead and one after another, <laughs> so we don't miss like we did on the fucking prick. I know it's I a prick, but <laughs> true. All right. Oh, um, I'm just ready to attack. I, I ready my mall. I, I'm hiding behind the corner, ready to pop out. Like, in essence, uh, that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. I'm a turn. Uh, so you you said you're ready to attack. All right, cool. Yep. Uh, the zombie. Nobody sees the zombie, but the zombie is coming around right now. That's. I am going to, it's got to go through two other, so I am going to roll a 20 to see if it successfully makes it through, and oh my god, it does not. Nope. Oh, freaking A. Natural one. All right. He's on the other so. foot now. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is this guy, as he was walking past the first, uh, the first uh, ghoul, yeah, he, uh, he ends up falling um, past the second one, tripping over it, and it falls prone because it's trying to it's trying to crawl through one entity and then over another one. If it was just we? one, uh, then you know he may have done some damage, but no, he uh, he fell. On my turn, I'm gonna take the oil and put it back into the flask. <laughs> it's just never gonna get used. No, 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 it's fine. We got this. All themselves getting into it's the It's on the room. floor. Too late. And he took he took two points of damage falling. You mean it's on Jackson's chest? No, it's not on my chest. <laughs> it's on the mm -hmm. floor. Uh huh. He gets himself psyched up, starts rubbing it all vigorously. All he's over like his he's body. like it's not no. on my chest, and his whole his whole sweatshirt just soaked. <laughs> It's too funny not to be said. Oh, man. These ghouls are something, man. All these ones and twos and shit. I'll take it. This is what we probably look like to the freaking... That stupid to the great yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, and then, uh... The... Oh, yeah. We're gonna go ahead... And... Bolts time. We're gonna... <laughs> this one's gonna try to make it over... Uh, the one in front of it. Go ahead and see if he makes it. It kills the other two. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yeah. Oh, this oh, one successfully through. makes it over. Uh, on next player's turn. Uh, is that... Oh, player's turn. Not GM's turn. All right. So he successfully makes it over. Um, this one with a check. And he's gonna try to he's gonna try to bite into to dough. No, not dough. <laughs> no. Dough, the perfect bait. 
Damn, he straight ninja vanished out of there. <laughs> Not. Oh. Oh that's no. A, I would I would assume that's a successful. Does he just eat him whole since he's so Ooh, little? Or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's donut size. A little like pretzel bite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> pretzel bite. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Eddie, oh uh, God. He hits you for ten points of damage as he as he bites into your shoulder. Oh, okay. that might. All right, ready for that firebolt? You guys ever know a <laughs> hobbit with one arm? I do. <laughs> this is where the table flip happens, huh? That's Fuck you, out dude. of there, Doe. No. Yeah, that's what I'm... I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. What's your health at? It's half. So you have, you have 20. Alright, oh fuck. Yeah, yeah. Fuck out of there! Between my legs, you're uh, safe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna risk it. I'm stepping way back. Oh, I, I'm done farting, I swear. Can he use his ready to action to firebolt that shit now? He's not on the stuff yet. Yeah, they, well, the stuff's right would there. They still walk, would they still it. walk into it? Because they're already that dumb? Probably still walk into it. They, their intelligence is quite low, uh, being that they only have one thing okay. on their mind, and they're mo they're moving forward to, to get that right. food. I think you're safe to do it, man. All right. Then I'll cast the fire bolt onto the oil flask that's there to set that part of the hallway on fire. All right, uh, let's go ahead and see if you successfully light it or if you miss it. Okay. Does he have to wait for his turn to do it or is that? No, I, it was my go? ready to action. Oh, fuck yeah. That's cool. Yes. Successfully igniting it. I would like you to go ahead and roll a 1d6. Oh, dear Lord. Okay. The direction that, that it was. <laughs> the 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 direction that you were pushing the the fire to was away from you guys so it was a conal like explosion as it hit and pushed it towards the back wall over here which okay. then ended up hitting the this guy right here oh there's a and... guy over there yeah there's one right there and that's that's the five that's five damage flat Well, he he lit it. What do you mean five damage flat? So anything that is affected by the oil uh, starts or ends their turn in that space that's on fire with the oil takes five damage, no save. Okay, he wasn't he wasn't on the oil. It okay, was it. it was like essentially a, a splash damage in the direction of him because of the angle that it, that the oil got lit. Okay, got it. Well, we, so we he's still gonna he's gonna walk through it and he's gonna get it, the five damage on the next turn when he goes through it. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. But Pressure he hasn't actually walked through it yet. Uh, yeah, when when he placed the oil on the ground, does that only take one tile? Is that how that works in theory, or is he like? Because I, I assumed in my mind he was placing it like in that whole little corridor there. We were lighting that whole bitch on fire. Uh, yeah, it I would be the right. whole. It would. It, I would say that it would take because if you if you look at the split in the map, that's a five by five. Um, it's just cut. Yeah, the tiles can't line up perfectly all the time. So, uh, yeah. what that is is it, that whole area right there in front in that hallway is is basically caught on fire. I got. Yeah, I didn't know if it was like the whole six tiles in that little area, like from here to here that we were. No, nah, it'd just be like these. Oh, main. I got you. I got you. No worries. Main floor here. Mm-hmm. Good to know. In a future situation, if we were to use more oil, we could technically yeah. say more of the tiles are covered in oil. Yeah. All right, Molly, uh, keep in mind, you have advantage on your next, thanks to uh, Anfern. Oh, yeah. Thank Anfernay. you. Uh, we, I think you might need it. No fern. Oh, watch, I'm gonna <laughs> fucking miss the rest of these rolls. Correct. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and this guy is going to stand up. Uh, standing up is gonna take half his movement. 
but he's only going to be able to move uh, let's see 15 feet get rid of his status one he's got to walk through this guy so let's go ahead and roll a d20 he successfully checks to get through it and then he stops right here well I don't know I don't think he would I think he would angle it yeah so now he's inside the fire he takes a one he just takes a flat five right flat right? five every, every turn that he's in the fire and All the, right. oil, the oil, keep in mind the oil was only ignited for two rounds <laughs> to whatever the ranger wants <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah Hell I got a nat 20 for the next time I pop a ghoul in the face. <laughs> All right, and then uh, let's see. That's that's my turn. Oh, Rick, you're up, buddy. Is there one like right around the corner from here? I can't see. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, okay. So wouldn't my ready to action have hit it? That is fair. Yes, it would have hit it as soon as he came around that corner. Yeah. Let, let's do that real quick and yeah. then yeah and then hit that actually hit shit i have to wait for my ready to attack for on my turn as, as well so no you know you're also no, you get right yeah. as well you Both can get of us right would have had well. our, our ready to attack would have been it is that hit with, on it. awesome is that with my mom since i had that equipped? yeah it's yes. whatever's in your hand okay cool i didn't know okay. if it was the weapon or just strength check yeah we're about to fuck him up we, we had both sides don't forget, ready. Don't forget the crit <laughs> It's a oh, yeah, critical. I get the advantage. Yeah, you get the advantage. You have advantage, and I crit. have. I, I have like, a fucking like crit. This one right here it took five it's fire damage. Hell and dead. <laughs> Boom. Nice. All right, so Grorig, you got a dirty twenty. No, no, that was Ocker's roll. I just. I mean, I'm sorry. Roll. Mine was the... Ocker. Yeah. Now roll your damage. Now roll your damage, a car. It's just a normal, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just a normal. All right. So total, Takes that's 23. what? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. If he's not dead, if they're twenty-eight damage. Uh, <laughs> ghouls hurt. So I mean, he's a demi ghoul. <laughs> I'm still raging too. Did so, I, did I get it? I mean, I uh, no. Right. Actually, how long were we out of combat? Uh, you were out of combat for maybe a couple minutes. Uh, because you were walking around freely. Uh, I think it only yeah. lasts for what? A uh, minute. Uh, one minute, minute, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and take off that status. Uh, so, you see the zombie. How, how did you... How did you want to do it, Akar? Oof. So when it was coming around the corner, I kind of had uh, my maul ready as I was, like, waiting with my back against the wall. And I, I kind of swung down, like, a diagonal motion. Just crack him upside the head. Well, I assume Growling simultaneously did his thing. I, I pictured like a simultaneous hit on this guy while he's walking into the fire. <laughs> All right. All hit right. him high, hit him low. All right, so this guy is, uh, he's... Low jumps and avoids both our hits. <laughs> All right, uh, Growling, now it's actually your turn. So you can either There's... move forward or ready to no, attack. Let's... Let's it's just ready there. another attack. <laughs> uh, do we know stick. how many turns the uh, the fire stays there? Two rounds. Two. Two rounds. Okay. Two rounds. All right. So we have one more round on this. Yep. Yes. Uh, Grawrick. Oh, I didn't hit the button, sorry. Yeah. Okay. You did ready that attack, though? Yeah, I ready okay. that attack and the, yeah. All right, uh, Ghoul is coming around the corner here, making its way up. It has to go through this guy. Let's go ahead and roll. He does not make it, uh, pat well, he makes it past, but he stalls right there. He can't go any further. Or... 
Yeah, he, he can't make it past. There's no way for him to make it past. He would have went into an angle and he just can't get past this guy. And Orn. I jump up on top of the table and I cast well actually will I have to do a check for getting on the table? Uh yeah, unless you're just unless you're just climbing the table, which climbing would take half your movement. That's what if I'll do. I, okay. I'm just gonna get on the table that way safely. And I'm gonna fling a spell. I bet you that's a surprise. <laughs> that's a no one. I never saw that coming. <laughs> God. All right, and then uh, let's go ahead. How that work? Oh, you bastard! <laughs> it's fine. Dude, these guys are like Michael Jacksoning all over my damn spells. They can't. They can't walk past themselves, but they can sure miss a sacred flame. Oh yeah. All right. That's why I turned me going to end it. Uh, I will also fucking grab my guy. <laughs> Perhaps. Our game, please. Thank game. you. Do what I would tell you now. I will target him. And uh, also, something you've never seen before. <laughs> all right for for the new folks in the, in the chat i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna read this off again um with frostbite the frostbite uh through his hands a it, it fires a one foot spike in the shape of a bone splintered at one end which then explodes with cold energy let's see if it hits Success. Yes. All right. Uh, which one were you attacking? This guy. All right. So he's going to have disadvantage on the next attack. Yes. And he takes four cold damage. And four. And I will end my turn. Okay, so this is the one that's prone, right? Uh, the one over here is prone. This so one has one. disadvantage. So this this guy over here is the one that's uh, screaming in pain? Yes. Okay. I'm going to cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter on this one now. Okay. And it is a DC 14 Wisdom. All right. Let's go ahead and see. Uh, he rolled a success. Bam. Quick question. Do you have the tiny tarts in the feather? Anything that you don't have a gold cost to, you usually have in your component pouch. Right. For bards and sorcerers, we have a component pouch that oh, as long as it's not costing, you have it. The only question is, why is he holding out on this? I didn't know he had tarts. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> does, it, does it cost gold? No. Nope. No. Okay. <laughs> Just needed to make sure. Like, there's a really cool first level spell I want, but it's like you need a 50 GP diamond. It's like I'm not gonna find one of those in a while. Won't take that spell. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's like you can do 3d8 damage. I'm like, oh, that's dope. Nah. God. 50 gold. Nope. I couldn't even cast that. I don't have that much. Like, no, it's you just have to hold it. It doesn't consume it. You just have to have that on you to be your what focus. Oh, uh, oh, that roll. Uh, that was. Oh, sorry. Um, he rolled. He just rolled a one d six. Yeah. Sorry, that was that was for the. I didn't mean to do it for the gold. Uh, the gold. I go ahead and delete that. There we go. Uh, is that uh, you done? One second. Uh, what is that? Is Oh, 
I'll just, um, am I good now? Uh, or... almost. Uh, let me. You're in the right spot. All right, I believe it was, uh, it's your turn right now, Ted, right? No, no I just, I, I just went. Oh, you just went? Okay. Yeah. Now, okay, then, yeah, it and it's is a car's turn. A car's turn. It'd be me. Yeah. Yep. Um, you put it on the goal. It's fine. I was just gonna ready attack. And then my turn. So. All right, and I believe. Okay, so we are not done with this run. Now we're ready for. Uh, oh wait, for this one, I need to roll a saving throw, right? To, to get yep. him out of the the fear that he's been put into. All right. Uh, it, uh, all right, so this one is no longer feared and is no longer prone. Because uh, he's going to use half of his uh, half his movement speed to move forward towards everybody, and let's go ahead and roll a d20 real fast. See if we can make it past. Nope, doesn't make it past this guy. All right, so now it is actually this guy's turn. Uh, this guy's going to move forward, take five damage. He's like protecting all of his homies from being yeah. burnt alive. Big boy. Yeah. Big boy's fucking. All right. Bash it up. So, my maul was readied again. As the blood's still dripping from the previous ghoul, I fucking swing this one. Might be a miss. Uh, meets it, beats it. Fuck That's yeah. a hit. Let's go. No, oh, there you go. Ooh. Oh. oh. Okay, and how did you want to do this one? Oh, huh? this one. I say, nice to maul you. I mean, meet you, oh, and no. then I <laughs> sing it over over <laughs> and smack them and obliterate them to pieces. <laughs> All right, that's fair. That's a good. That's a good way to take him out. And I, and I look at Zor and I'm like, "Did you like that one?" <laughs> I, I nod with an approval. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, you know, you know, even better. I whisper back in your head. I'm like, "Yeah, that was pretty funny." I'm like, "See, I told you." <laughs> 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 and you guys are all like, "What?" <laughs> Best thing is, oh, you know this. All of us just to look yeah. at you like, what do you it's mean? Like the, it's like I, I the told, frog I, from I the WB. You. It's like the frog from the WB commercial, like a cartoon back in the day, like, oh, my baby, oh, my. Uh, <laughs> no, I believe it's dancing. Uh. All right, so then that guy's out of the. Oh. You know what? I bet you if I put. Add some. Oh, actually, let me just do zero. That should take him out. Yep. Take some out. Completely. All right. All right, Doe. It's up to you, buddy. Well, I've, like, barely been able to see them. Like, they haven't been in my line of sight the entire time. I've just, like, I've just been able to hear you guys friggin' swinging away at them. Uh, your eyes are closed. Look why I, I have no line of sight here. I can't see squat. Open your uh, eyes. Uh, so I'm just gonna sneak forward underneath a uh, car's legs here. Welcome home. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! That like soda just almost hit everything right now. And I literally, I still can't see them from here. I none of them are up there yet. Yeah. Now you're oh my! All right, well, they all, they all, it's what it, there's like a what? traffic jam. While you're down there, speed bag is nuts. <laughs> well, that's what I've been doing the whole time. You're running wild, grunting. 
<laughs> so, okay, so dead, dead. There's one left. So, Culp, there's an advantage on the next just player's two. attack roll or saving throw. That, uh, that chanting you were hearing the whole time were just my nuts. Just bouncing that's back still on through. fire, Josh. Oh, that's still yeah, on I fire? The, uh, yeah, I was trying to I can't even see roll. because of it. Mm -hmm. You know, ready, at, ready and attack. And yes, yes, he is. Fool. It, <laughs> I'm going to ready and attack. Like... <laughs> This yeah, is he's working. Multi personality. It's awesome, actually. All right, so this guy's gonna. He's he's moving forward fast, coming at you, Ted. Uh, at this point, I believe we are on the third round. This is. There's no more fire on the ground. Uh, he's gonna. He's gonna. Dive with his head straight into your chest, trying to take a bite out of you. Did he get the opportunity to attack first, Grawrig? Uh, you did. did. Ready he did have it ready, so yes, he'll get that right now. Wait, didn't Doe have one too, or no? Uh, Doe, did you have one? Select. Sorry, repeat that. Uh, did you have an you attack ready? I uh, no, I don't, uh, yeah, no. Wow. I did. Because I couldn't even right. see shit, so I've just been wandering around. Did the, did the damn thing take five damage? No, it's gone. No, the fire's, the fire's only there for right. two turns. Oh, I get I get to hit it, though, so. Woohoo! Alright. And is there. With an advantage attack. With advantage? Yep. Beautiful. Thank you to Rob. Fuck. Uh, that's a success. Ah. That's good. Nice. There you go. The joy of a ready attack. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and try to bite down on the yeah. chest of of uh who we have out right now low right low. no yeah low we are back to monk oh we are <laughs> we're trying to attack monk right now oh fine i gotta ask how this works is it like on like <laughs> set oh, oh snap love's going down <laughs> it's a natural 20 guys oh you god monk, you monk um Oh, hey, nope, <laughs> nope. Redeemed a reroll. Uh, looks like I have to monster attack advantage. Uh, wait, hold up, hold up. Let's you gotta see. put some cooldowns on these things, man. People are fucking shooting them like machine guns. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the redeem reroll. Uh, let's see. XGM monster attack advantage. Okay. That means I need to reroll, right? Uh, insulin? Insulin? I mean, it just wastes your advantage, but you still got the nat 20, though. Okay, so from what I'm reading on that, it's, uh, I have to reroll. Even if it doesn't give, uh, an advantage or a disadvantage is just a reroll. So, okay, cool. Oh, he now, on my roll, I I rolled for advantage. If you look at the, the how it yes. says two d twenty kh, that shows that I rolled two d twenty and keep the highest. Right. So, so he also says Grawrig needs to reroll. You that's got the not full though. Eh. Full redeemed it. That's that's uh, Rob explaining. Yeah, okay. So then I need... Okay, so mine is a, a failure. There should... Uh, there is an advantage one. I just don't remember how they get to it. Hold on. Uh, the advantage one was this one right here. The damage roll uh, right here. The longsword attack roll advantage. You'll see it, like, right on top. Well, said so allowing you as a viewer to call a re-roll for the GM or players. Enter GM or player... And text box before sending doesn't say advantage. Okay. 
Okay, so mine mine is I have to just re-roll it. Whatever I got, I re-rolled. So I went ahead and I re-rolled it, and I ended up getting a 7. So I missed the attack on, on Monk. Yeah, so Insolent made me re-roll the 20. But you had rolled with an advantage for uh, Graurig. And it was it was in there. You had a nine and a three. So yeah, we're we're good. All right, perfect. Moving on. Let's do this. Uh, so I am end of my turn, and Zorin, you're up. Guess what I'm gonna do? Miss miss with sacred flame. I uh, know <laughs> mine, mine always hits. They just keep <laughs> juking that shit. <laughs> All right, so for for the party out there that haven't heard this yet, um, Sacred Flame, when it's casted, he casts two red demonic circular disc runes, appears above and below his target. A beam of dark energy joins both discs together. (laughs) And and you hear like a really strong like power up, like ancient power plants coming to life after millions of years. Yeah, one. And it is yeah. successfully successfully catches uh this this ghoul in it as you take, see it kind of take, take it. <laughs> um does a ghoul get No. No, it doesn't. I don't see it on here. Alright, we are good. Oh, sorry. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> hey, we're level two. <laughs> no, we're still casting at level one, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, you're still casting at level one until you have a long rest. You got the health of a of a two year old. Well, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to dash your guys' dreams, but it's going to be doing the exact same damage. Yeah. All right. Does a fifteen hit it? It it. It would. You should actually be rolling disadvantage going into combat like that, but we'll go ahead and let this one slide. Uh, going forward, though, if, if you've got people that are corralled in front, you're going to want to roll at a disadvantage because you're, you're fighting into attack or into to combat. Well, he's, okay. he's, he's, it looks like he's casting Firebolt. He doesn't have to move for that. Uh, he doesn't have to move for it. No, it's not It's not the disadvantage for the distance. It's not the disadvantage for moving. Too. It's what? Oh, see, I'm on top of the table. Yeah, he is high ground. He can see. Oh, uh, you know? Okay, okay. I can see how that I'm works. Not, I'm also not in the middle, nope. so it's not like I'm blocking him. Like, it'd I'm, be different I'm... if I was in the way. Oh, dude, we're good. Yeah, that that makes sense. What about what about me, though? You you successfully uh, hit. You're good. Oh, <laughs> it does one damage. Feel the burn. <laughs> yeah. So as you, as you, as you see the, the white hair that kind of like dangles it's kind of ghostly looking on the side of its face it, it, it kind of singes those as it as it hits it right on the cheek <laughs> the battle music changes chestnuts roasting over it <laughs> yeah basically <laughs> not yeah. some that's some crazy shit monk you're up buddy i'm gonna go with unarmed strike classic monk Classic Has a fucking long sword on his back. God damn, monk! <laughs> Make it easy. <laughs> and then with a bonus action, I'm gonna hit him with fl- flurry of blows. Okay. That's a lot of damage for an unarmed strike. He did more damage than his sacred flame. <laughs> sure. Bro, he's a monk. All right, all right. For flurry of blows, that hit, that hits. How oh, did you want to do shit. it? Tell me how you want to do it. That's badass. So, so the fir- the first is a palm. Str- this is a straight palm strike, and then I I hit I hit him with uh, with a left or right, and then I come across the his head with uh with two palm strikes to the side of his head that discombobulate him and send him down for the count. I dare gonna say it exploded inside. Right. That was a fucking lose my shit. <laughs> no, no, no. 
I, I'm level. I, I'm doing that at level one. I'm not. <laughs> the goal. It's a, it, it's it's. You can do it. <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> after I get a little, after I get a little bit more uh, under my belt, then I'll start blowing up people's heads with my uh, palm strikes. Yeah, Zorn, it did same damage as Don Armstrike. Uh, the flurry adding that five did five more damage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you did say you've only been in the church for like three months, if I recall correctly. <laughs> that, that is true, but not. But I've I've known magic for a lot longer. I didn't give your character shit for that, but like, you're like you came out of there like a trained like you know cleric and shit. And you're like, I've been at it for three months or some shit. <laughs> how, how we doing? How we doing, uh, monk? End your turn. Oh, sorry. Usually, like it's the other way around, right? Like, oh, I've been doing this for twenty-five years. Yeah, he's like, like, I just started uh, yesterday. <laughs> it's like, they want you go on a cross-country quest. Yep. All right, of course. Um, can I get an update on the ghoul that's still alive? Uh, he's, I want, right? he's still alive. We didn't hit him yet, or anything? Uh, nope. no, not necessarily hit him. No. Oh, he's got himself right out of day. That's the one I was falling all over the place. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. It's this was the fastest baller ever. That one is the emotional damage. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, dude. Is it abyssal? Can I can I speak to it? No, no, it's not abyssal. Uh, hey, look, man, you've had a rough day. <laughs> you've fallen <laughs> many times. Your friends are dead. Just go back to the little hole you came from. Hey, big so, guy. You know, the sun's getting real low. <laughs> I'll just already attack with the mom. In my turn, I'll make it here eventually. Oh, he's he's on his way right now. You hear him shuffling himself. Did he fall again? up the hallway? Nope. This one, this one made it, and he sees low, or he sees monk directly in front of him. And what are you gonna do now? A car. My uh, attack, my opportunity attack with the mole. I'd add it ready again, just like clockwork, just like the first two. All right, go for it, go like for it. in practice, I'm just swinging around the corner with the mole. Boom. That's a, that's a hit. Ben. Ben bludgeoning. And dead his forehead a little bit there. You hear the cracking of his skull as he takes the hit. Still, nothing, nothing's really phasing him too much. He still looks at low, and he's, he's still with blood in his eyes. He just wants to just take a take a swipe out of out of low. Uh, low does fourteen hit. 14 does not hit. The armor class is 15. All right. So as as he took the, the dent from from the, the maul that you hit him with, he's not really able to grab that trajectory to, to get his, you know, take that, that swipe out of him. So it kind of doesn't phase him or anything. It just it kind of pushes him off to the left. Uh, well, your left, his right, and misses the the attack with his claws. And top of the order again, Doe. Up to you, buddy. All right, all right. Can I? Uh, can, I can slip by him, right, and then do an advantage attack from behind. Is that? Do I have uh, the space to do that? You do have the space to do that since you're a halfling. Not only that. Um, he has focus on other enemies in front of him, so as you do that, you also can use a sneak attack. How do I use the sneak attack and the short sword, or how do I... That's... 
so just roll normal, right? Just roll normally to hit him. And then if you hit him, add a d6 to your roll. Okay, so that I hit him with the advantage right now, right? And then... Yes, because you're yes. flanking. There you go, you got it. Yeah, nice, and then, yeah, d6. Uh, roll damage, and then roll the 1d6 for the extra. Can he just add the 1d6 and the situational bonus for whatever? Yeah. Alright, so sneak attack hits for 5, but he also hits with his normal attack, his, his sword attack. So, scroll back up just a little bit more and hit the attack, or the damage on the short sword. Oh yeah, I got that. Okay. So right. you're adding the 5... To the, the 10. So 15. Alright, yeah. Nice. So as as you're stabbing at it, you 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 hear the the of the Achilles tendons being just cut through on one of the one of the legs. The second, the second hit was was basically just kind of a dash up to his thigh. I think still alive at there. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I, I hit it. Killing Garrick. And Garrick. Can never see the damn thing. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, missed. As you as well, you try to take that would have been a, my ready to attack. <laughs> as you try to take a stabbing <laughs> attack at it, right? You mm -hmm. you end up banking off of the corner of the wall, kind of missing right of it. Gotcha. And then my actual attack for this round. Uh, yeah. All right, that's a hit. Wow. Uh, looking worse. Attempt. Looking worse for wear. It's still it's still holding on. Still has bloodlust, wanting to to bite into the monk right now, but still still alive, but just barely. Then I am done. All right, Zorin. <laughs> Go ahead. I never saw that coming. <laughs> I got nothing else. Yeah, eat it. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and roll that damage. Yeah. How did you want to do it? <laughs> so, like, I'm, I, I stand on the table. My <laughs> eyes start to glow this demonic red color and it looks like it's going to be a build up you see the two massive discs appearing above and below him and where everybody's expecting this massive jolt of energy it's just this little <laughs> and then the thing just falls over and I just look at everybody and I'm like and I nod like heroically like I just did something badass in the mall and I start clapping <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. See, I know some sort of Ginyu for shit. All right. like... <laughs> you have successfully cleared the four ghouls that were in the area. And we are now yeah. out of combat. Hell yeah. It's time for a long rest. It's time for us to get out of the out of the dungeon. Oh, we're not even close to done. No, it oh, was like right. fucking. Well, it looks like it keeps going south for Well, there's a mm -hmm. there's a there's a set of stairs right over here. Right. Uh, don't think you can actually. Well, oh, I see what you're saying. Over here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so what do you guys want to do at this point then? But I mean, we could 
stop here and finish. Yeah, we are at one thirty. So. Oh wow, we went, we went, dude. The time went Overtime. by so fast. I mean, it's up to you guys. I mean. Night, Rob. I'm, Appreciate I'm, it, brother. I'm still down to play a little bit, but. Well, let's 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 prep everybody for where you guys want to go. If you guys want to rest. Or are you going to still try to take down the rest of this as level one with a level we two health? probably long rest. Yeah, we should probably get, long rest. Stuff. get a long rest to get our stuff so that we can have a little bit more, you know, a little bit more going for us. All right. And, uh, so looking at this, though, what we're looking at, though, is uh, we don't have... Rose to protect you guys overnight. Rose and Thorn have been put to rest, laid to rest. Um, we pull so... them out of their coffins real quick. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. We, we, need, so... we need one last favor. Excuse me. Um... So one of the most important things is we need to find out where you guys, where, where are you guys going with this? Well, uh, I was thinking that we just go up these stairs real quick and see if there's a little safer spot. Let's go. Let's let's backtrack. I I feel safer going to an area we already were. So we can just fucking like because we already rested. Remember on the third floor. Right. We could probably use that same area. Unless you guys think that's out of way. I mean, a lot will take us. Take us five minutes. It was the one with like the the big double bed and shit, like in that hallway. There was two bedrooms on that floor, so we could even. How many are there? There's six of us, right? We yeah. could even have. We could let two sleep at a, in each room, but two just hold and watch on that staircase floor. Because there's only one way in, and that floor would be that staircase. Right. Unless there's like a secret room or something we don't know about. Sounds good to me. So we if go back did- up to. Go back yeah, up to the stairs. <laughs> yeah, do you want to just like? So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, I will have you guys moved up to the bedroom, or you know what? Let's just uh, let's pretend this is the bedroom over here. Uh, you know, just kind of RP the the environment as the bedroom up there. That way we can st- That way we don't have to do a whole lot of extra when we start next week. Right. Mm-hmm. We'll just, we can jump right back into where we were down here. Um, Sounds like a good idea. It's cold in here, Zorin. Cuddle closer. And then you guys can get into your marching orders and everything and and then start start moving your way downwards. I'm cuddle with me and Doe, Zorin. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, hey, Zorin, can you cast some sacred flame to heat this, heat this bitch up? <laughs> I have a feeling that if I do this unintentionally, it's going to actually really hurt. So I'm going to say no. I'm in the uh, wall again. No, get out of the wall. You'll be safe there during your long rest. Stay there, Jackson. I mean, it's fair. <laughs> yeah. I won't deny that. Can we gather around, like, this tomb, open it up, throw some, like, trash in there, and just have, like, a little, like, hobo fire? Check your bag. You might have something in there that we can light on fire. What do you mean? <laughs> that wasn't in character. I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> you still want it to be a surprise, you asshole. Yep. I'm not getting off that easy. <laughs> I can't wait for the haunted shit to start happening around your character. And you see what the fuck's going on. <laughs> I know. I, I bring it into, like, a temple or something like that. And I get, like, ostracized. Like, how dare you bring <laughs> this into the temple, you asshole. <laughs> Don't you know what this is? <laughs> yeah, where's that long rest button? It's at the top. Oh, do we have to hit that on the um, hit dice thing? Yeah, yeah, the hit dice, yeah. long rest. So what we're going to want to do is by next session, um, I'm going to have to work with you, uh, Molly and Sulek. We're going to get you your your new stuff uh, because you should have like new attacks, new abilities, and we'll get those added to your paper um, so that I can get them imported. You and stream if you wanna... Dude, absolutely, yeah, I'm down. Are you uh, are you own. are you okay with us doing our own? Uh, or do you want to or do you want to have some say in it? Uh, well, your your abilities. Well, you've already rolled your health. That's the only thing that I had a problem. You know that I I need to be able to see and kind of 
work with you on. Um, as for your abilities, you know what abilities you can have. Uh, I, I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna overshadow you guys while you do them. Uh, it's just the health things, the things that you have to roll on for chance. Gotcha. I just want to make sure that everybody keep everybody honest, type of thing. Sounds good. All right, and uh, for everybody else in chat, I I can't thank you enough. Uh, for the support that you provided me and and my friends here tonight, uh, with the uh, the the subs, the uh, the the lurk coins, like everything, everything was just it was it made it so amazing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and raid a guy that I've been watching for a little while. So crispy, uh, he's doing D and D right now as well. If you want to show him some love, give him a follow. If you want to chill out and watch him, he's an Australian streamer. Uh, really good guy uh but yeah let me go ahead and <laughs> you did not ban him did you <laughs> i don't think he has the power to do it i don't it. i don't know if he has the power yet to we're, do that we're both mods and I'm i spelled not... his name wrong so oh, okay okay <laughs> so yeah if you could stick around or just throw a lurk this way man it'd be greatly appreciated uh, i'm gonna go ahead and throw you guys over there uh, let me get that started although you should never shut yourself out sir. obviously <laughs> Especially when you don't even play anything. I know. <laughs> That's even the better, fuck? though. That does look like a good game. Again, playing, playing no again thank you, Eros, for being here. Thank you for the follows, Insulin. Thank you for the, the subs, Rob, for the gifted and the sub. Dude, much appreciated. Much love. Thanks. Yeah, you guys make it fun. Take care. Nice to meet you all. Jeez, guys, I'm going to go pass out. <laughs> Not, buddy. Alrighty, brother. You take it easy, man. This guy playing fucking top down Sim City. Yeah, I'm gonna. Sim <laughs> City, dear God. I, I'm gonna be online, but I'm just, I'm gonna quit this because I can't stand this music anymore. <laughs> I, I thought that was my my brain. I thought I was yeah. hearing that shit too. Like it's like it's like the Tetris effect, but with sound. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna work on my characters, but I'm gonna. Be do it in silence. So I'll, I'll I'll see you guys next week. Hey, take care, man. Yeah, bye. See you, boy. Bye. All right, boy. later, guys. And I'll, I'm gonna be later. hanging around here still. So. Cool. Everyone, everyone else, will fuck you. I can't wait to leave. Everybody left so fast. All right, I'm I'm still here. Uh, let me go ahead and I'm down because super loud in my my ears. Oh, you're good. Uh, I said everybody left so fast. <laughs> yeah, I know. They're like, oh, game's over. I want to go. 